<laughs> All right, I'm going to try to get ready to talk with y'all a little bit. All right, we're here. This is an attempt to collect a debt. To collect a debt. Isn't that right? All right, where are we going? Yauka 9, chapter 6, at verse 44. This is always wonderful for us. I also had this guy call me again. Well, he can call me, left me an email. His name, Yo Ukana, with an O. He said, I need to drop my, what was it? Drop my vanity and pride and work together as men. Don't be getting, I'm trying to work with you. You don't want misspelling stuff. Man. You're trying to get me to drop now. You want you to just admit you don't know what you're spelling. Ain't that right? Well, I got to drop what I got. That's what killed me. Told me, let my vanity go for it, be my downfall. We need to work together as men. I'm playing with words. It's only phonics. I said, oh, that's how it is, Miss Phonics. Go to school and misspell something. Say they tell you it's phonics. They put a big fat F on your paper, zero. They're going to tell you it's phonics, all right. It's funny how you got that F. Isn't that right? That's amazing. Isn't that right? They give you an F. I told you, we didn't have spelling class. You spell, you miss one letter. You'd be like, oh, one letter out there. Still wrong. Isn't that right? Teach you just how accurate you got to be. Isn't that right? And they're disciplined with their language. Isn't that right? So when they come along our language, we got to do the same thing. I got to count it wrong. And I don't care what your intent was when you spelled it Y-O-H, it's still wrong. I had to mark it wrong. I don't know how you can look to see, like you pronounce y'all, I'm saying yo, y'all, you understand, but I got to mark it wrong. Isn't that right? I got to do just like your teacher. I don't know what you were trying to spell. They be like, but you, but you understand what? If it's wrong, no, I don't understand. Y'all hear me? That's the problem we got now. And see, when these people come along, don't realize when these people grade what you got, it's either right or wrong. That's the same thing we look at with us learning our language. It's that imperative. We understand the discipline when he told us when he came through Mizraim. He heard a language. He said, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand the language. It's that important for us. If you didn't understand the language, would it make sense for that to be my dominant? Would it make sense for me to continue to speak it? Would it make sense for me to learn to communicate with our creator, right? What they call higher being power. He got a name. Amen. He's got a name. These people go home and say, see, what I do, I met another guy. He, he was born over there. That joke was so stanker. Man, he had one of the trashiest white women I ever seen in my life. But that white woman, like she been drugged all behind dumpsters and truck. Oh, man. Her teeth would just grind down on her gun. It ain't fall out. Like normal people, just grind down on her gum. Stinking, hell, just like trash. And he said, they kissed that nasty white. When I looked at that, I said, man, like pure God. I'd rather lick a, I'd rather lick a dumpster clean. And that right, tell him he was born over there. I said, see, he got 7,000 names. I hear this nigga, he go with seven. Where y'all getting these counts from? 7,000 names? He went and tell me all this stuff. I said, you seen it? Oh, no, no I was a baby. But uh, they told me. I'm like, here, you seen this? They be trying to be reciting stuff. Name and calling it's all kind of stuff. Yeah, I do cussing rap. I don't pay these people no attention. Too much, money, too much mess out here. You can't hook up with everybody. You can't help everybody. Everybody's intent ain't honest. God, that fella, him, his intent ain't honest. That's why he ain't responding back to you, retarded. Isn't that right? I guess anybody need to drop their vanity. He need to drop it just at me. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know I was spelling it wrong. Isn't that right? Don't tell me to drop it to help you. You know, he want to make himself feel better. I ain't going to help your nigga drown. And I hope these white folk drag you when they get you. Isn't that right? I'm telling you you're wrong. You ain't going to stop it. Keep going then. Y'all hear me? It's just like shout. If any man be ignorant, he said, let him be ignorant. Isn't that what he told him? He said, any man, he said, any man be ignorant. Go try to teach him. Not at all. Come on, son. Pick me up 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 36. Y'all know why I call it? Because it's right. Let these people make no fool out of you. Ain't that right? Other brother, see that Acts of the Apostle chapter 17. Give me 17 and about 17. Make it 19. It's all the same word. Listen. What? Came the word of Allahim out from you? Or came it unto you only? Listen. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, what he said, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of Yahuwah. That's what we're looking at. It wouldn't make sense he's going to sit on the side that we weren't supposed to know what we were doing. 
Ain't that right? We've already had that where we went out and every man teach his neighbor. He said, no more. We're going to have that. He said, every man going to know me from the least to the greatest. Ain't that right? He done set up instructors. He done given us shepherds. Ain't that right? What you going to call pastors? We know what it's called. Ain't that right? And it's for a reason. Ain't that right? This is our occupation. These people doing stuff, they don't know what they're doing out here. They just run out here. Run. Anytime you got time to tell me you're a pastor, run around singing lullabies at people's house. I know you ain't doing nothing. I'm out here busy. They got time he's going to call me to come to your house and say no lullaby. Say, nigga, go to sleep. <laughs> Isn't that right? I ain't wasting time. I'm trying to sound play a little ghibli music. They got here on the chitlin circuit. Man, ain't got time to play. They got time here on no chitlin circuit, man. Even Ray Charles love the chitlin circuit. Isn't that right? Man, you both have got the word. You both be preached the word. Isn't that right? He said, he that had my word. He both be speaking it faithfully. Anybody going to call me to come nowhere to say you call me, I'm coming to preach. Don't tell me coming to how I come saying some lullaby. Man, I'm a teacher. I come now, I'm going to be teaching. Hey, Carl, he know he's doing better off saying. It don't matter what he did. Anything better. He, he doing anything else he's doing, it better than him preaching. Or he telling lies. Listen to the book. But if any man be ignorant. Let him he, do what? Let him be ignorant. That's what I try to tell you. What happened, son? Wherefore, brethren... Covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Yes. Let all things be done decently and in order. That's what I try to tell y'all. We got an order for how we do stuff. Y'all hear me? I try to tell y'all the whole time. Don't sit around and follow every and everything out here. Don't be trying to go and connect everybody with us. Everybody ain't connected with us. Since the time we start, we ain't never ran out telling people we know Hebrews are like. They ain't never moving out here. People say, when I see Hebrews are like, first thing I'm thinking, drugs. Get drunk, cursing. Multiple wives, isn't that right? Every time I find them, they use all the names. I already know what's going to be a tech, a bunch of junk. I'm sure it's a couple of people out there that's not. Don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about the majority of them. Isn't that right? We all want to distinguish ourselves. We'd be a different. Just like you told, we put put a different between clean and unclean. Isn't that right? Between the kadosh and the unkadosh. Isn't that right? That stuff don't move. I hear somebody saying Hebrews like that. The last thing I'd rather really hear Christian come out your mouth. I just man, I, I trust a Christian quicker than I trust one of them jokers. They get so turned, bent up sideways, get to telling them lie. I already know you full of game. Mm -hmm. I'm being out there more flim flam scam with them than it is with the Christians out here. And you know already I told them what a Christian is somebody slow and obtuse. Isn't that right? And that's so sad. Our people come along and know they're wrong and still lead the people the wrong way. They don't even care about the people's soul. Come on, son, give me that 17th chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostle. 17, 17. We'll try to get on here to get Ukanan. Acts of the Apostle 17, 17. Listen. Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Yahudim. Yes. And with the devout persons. Yes. And in the market daily with them that met with him. Come on, son. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans. Yeah. And of the Stoics encountered him. And some said, what will this babbler say? Others said. He seemed to be a set of forth of strange God. What happened, son? Because he preached unto them Yahusha. Listen. And and the resurrection. That's what they look at with us. When you start to teach what we teach, we're going to seem like we got something that's strange. Isn't that right? It's going to be what they're going to call peculiar. Isn't that right? Because you look at the rest of these groups, they all saying the same thing. Isn't that right? Ahia, Hashaya, they all saying something he never told them that was his name. His son was, so what's the son's name? Ahia, Hashaya Jr.? They all got the same, they all come to the same decoy, Yahweh. Ain't that right? They all come with the same stuff when you watch them. That's what we call it. That's your problem. Ain't that right? We all supposed to speak the same thing. Ain't that right? Paul be no division. Paul to be among us. And we probably be perfectly joined together with the same mind. The only way we're going to do that, we got to have the same information. Ain't that right? Come on, son. Listen. And they took him and brought him unto Areopagus. Listen. Saying, may we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is. Listen why. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. Listen. We would know therefore what these things mean. Listen. For all the Athenians and yeah. strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else. But to do what? Either to tell or to hear some new thing. That's what all the people waste their time doing. Sit around and tell some new lies or try to hear something new. Nobody want what we got. And it, and Shaluma told him clearly, ain't nothing new on the Shamayim. All these fake gods, these people coming up with, and all these fake names and titles, these groups coming, ain't nothing new. People been doing that. Right. Ain't nothing new. They just try to find some other name to call it. It's the same thing. Yeah. Listen, 
Then Shaul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things. Do that make sense? That Shaul was sitting on planet Mars and talking to people in Athens. This is what the ignorant folk teach, it's space travel. Hey, down at Athens, I'm out here on Mars Hill. Don't make sense. So where Mars Hill gonna be at? Gonna be in Athens. Gonna be in Greece. You know what I'm saying? The ignorant people, they just believe what they want. They'll take this and make a fool out of these folks. They're ready to leave the planet. They're ready to go with Malachi York. Man spoke all the way from Mars. Like a joker told me, the first Pharaoh picture is engraved inside the planet Mars. It's right there on Mars. As you better see it. That's all I want. Did you see it? Because I know you're lying. Did you see it? So you went to Mars and see, he said, I leave. I, he said, he ain't been a lot of places. <laughs> These jokers leave their body. Y'all be surprised what kind of messed up mind these folk got. Man, your mind a lot of you in a minute. I remember the time, what's Zach at? Like his brother had going to read that book. I seen his brother in prayer make all the sense in the world. We're going to read a book and they were going to meet up. He was locked up and he was going to, you know how to leave his body. And you gonna, he can come and meet you. He go and visit people. You know what I do? The first thing I can do if I can leave my cell, get the key and open the door. <laughs> See, when that ain't the first thing in my mind, that's number one show you I'm an idiot. Then, when I learn how to leave, I'll never come back. <laughs> when they coming out, sack of them. <laughs> Why would you come back? You see what some stuff people do. When you think it all the way through, you can tell, you don't think too well, do you? Because if I get out of this cell, first thing I want to do is get the key to bring the rest of me. If I can't bring the rest of me, I ain't coming back. When they come in there, they're going to find a vegetable. They're going to find a vegetable, gonna find a vegetable or a sack of banana lean over there in the corner. I ain't coming back. But see, people write just like the book told them, <laughs> like Shaluma told them, making many books at no end. These people make books to make food. You, let me tell you something. When you start dealing with the human mind, there's a lot of games can be played. Manipulation is number one. People tend to believe everybody that died that come back and write a book, they were going down a tunnel. There was a white light at it. And then some told them, no, I'm not ready for you yet. Go back and save the others. And these niggas buy the book. Let me tell you something. If I'm leaving and I'm giving to a white light, whoever tell me to go back, you ain't even talking to me. Because I might mess up and don't get to this point. I'm going to the light. I done left him, and I'm right here at the light, and some told me to go back. You weren't even talking to me. There's some people behind me need to be listening. I ain't heard nothing you say. This stuff makes no sense. That stuff just makes no sense. And you came back to this miserable slop of hellhole, to bills, to problems, to sickness. Are you a retard? Many people come a dime a dozen. I don't read them books. I don't entertain that type of foolishness. Y'all hear me? That stuff ain't nothing but witchcraft and sorcery. I don't listen to that kind of foolishness. Somebody leaving your body and all that junk and chatting. Man, some stuff I ain't never been into. I ain't never been into it. Y'all hear me? I just don't entertain a whole lot of stuff. These people will mess your mind up. You can convince your mind of anything. Y'all hear me? Just like them rules. You can convince your mind of anything. People just got the devil in them, and we here to preach it out of them. Y'all hear me? All that take a woman panties and cut the middle part and put in your shoe on. If I got a doll, I don't need it. All right. Y'all hear me? You know, good and well, if you cut that middle part, you're going to be around there trying to smell it. You ain't going to put it in your shoe. I tired of be playing with no panties. What was in the panties? That's what I'm trying to get. All this stuff just backwards. One got to go get up and hang him over bed and make a joker stay sleepy she come back. You don't need that joke. He's sorry. He wasn't getting up no how. No panda hanging on bed make no nigga stay sleep all night long. That's crazy. Y'all hear me? What do you think ain't folks out here selling a sleeping pill when all y'all do is hang a pair of drawers on the top of the thing and you don't stay asleep? These folks be out of business. Y'all mean folks drinking night quill trying to go to sleep? Robitussin? Now all you got to do is throw your stinking drawers up here and Joker stay asleep all night. These folk go after this old kind of fool. Y'all be wild. It, it is funny, but these folk go after these little strange guards like that. I don't follow you. I ain't got time for all that junk. I get them the old-fashioned way. I can snatch them. 
Y'all hear me? All right, time, all right, you got four, they go fish, you know, you get, they get the triple hook. They throw a triple hook out there and snag. I do it the old fishing way. I got bait. Throw it out there, I'm going to fish me. If I ain't catch it, it wasn't nothing out there. I don't care if fish swimming right there, ain't nothing out there. If they ain't come get my bait, they ain't out there. They don't know nothing about them. Huh? I used to go fish. You see guy on the side wall, they be snagging fish. They trying to hook him, trying to get him. I'm on the other side fishing. And I look at him, I say, y'all see how you get your, you ain't skilled. When you got skill, you can use a bait. Y'all hear me? You got skill, you can get a woman. Huh? When you can't get nothing to eat, let me tell you something. I can get a woman. I ain't got to cut up no draw to get one either. Mm. Y'all hear me? You supposed to already be equipped. Y'all hear me? Some of them are like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can get her. Not her. Leave them alone. Hey, teacher, leave them women alone. Stop hollering now. She's sensitive. Something wrong with y'all, Joker. Come on, man, I gotta get ready. I ain't, I ain't, y'all think I got time to fool with y'all? Huh? What you want me to come to your house and play music? Teach you how to sing or something? Come on, son. You men of Athens. You men of Athens? I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. <laughs> too superstitious. Come on, son. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar that with this I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. What, of whom what happened? Therefore ye ignorantly worship. Y'all see how important that for us to even know the name of him? Even just saying most high, we give him that because he is the most high, but we got a name attached to him. When you say the most high, I mean, what's your definition of most high? We got a name attached to who we serve. Y'all hear me? It's important we use that name. Mm-hmm. Even when it come down to salvation, he told us that neither there's salvation or any other, for there's none other name under the Shamayim given among men, whereby you must be. So why would I use it? I'm just saying the name of the Savior. Is that what he told me? He told me he gave me a name. Amen. Gave me a name. Let's see what happened. Fourth chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostle. Acts 4 and 1. Wonderful, wonderful Savior. It's just important for us to know. Know who we're serving and why we're serving him. Y'all got me? But don't let your mind, whatever you do, don't lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, just like he said, acknowledge him. He'll direct your path. Y'all hear me? A lot of people, they got pride. And pride comes just before a fall. Let's be honest. And it's in here too. It's just like it's out there. It's in here as well. Y'all hear me? Don't let your pride make a fool out of you. Y'all hear me? I'm not a prideful man. I got pride for what I believe in. I stand for what's right. But I ain't got no pride. If I know something wrong, I'm going to just keep going with it anyway and the hell I go. That's just stupid. Yeah. I mean, my mind just sitting down thinking that don't make come. I know myself it's just wrong, but I'm going to keep going anyway. That's a fool. Yeah. Y'all hear me? Hold you guys, son. Give me a second cuff. Second cuff, too. I'm not telling Give me Acts 4 and 1. This is second cuff. Bet. Two and about 13. Make it 12. It's all the same word. Listen. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not. Listen. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Listen. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. Y'all hear what you're going to get? You're going to receive the what? The reward of unrighteousness. What are we looking at, brother? The gamal. That's right. This is going to be your reward. That's what he told you he'd do. Behold, I come quickly, and my Gamal is with me to get it every man according as his work shall be. Listen. As they that count it pleasure to ride in the daytime. Listen. Spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Yeah. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. That's what a lot of our problem is in him. That's the problem now. I am so consumed with trying to do what the other people out here are trying to do and trying to take on the pleasure of these people out here. You don't even realize you can't even stop doing wrong. Something wrong with your mind. That's just being honest. Some of the stuff that I watch you guys do over the course of time, it just get to a point. It just set. I had to just look and just utterly detest. At the same time, just look and just utter just, just, just amazement in a sense of wondering, where's your mindset set when you hear a word that teaches a man or woman how they ought to walk? I was talking to a young gentleman uh, on the phone before I came out, Andre. He's in New York. He said, y'all scare him. 
He said, y'all have a man of Elohim sitting here telling you stuff, and y'all sit here asleep. He said, people sitting there playing. He said, I'm sitting here panicking. When am I going to make it in? Am I going to get there? I can see this thing wind up, and they sitting in here, and they playing. They sitting here not paying attention to sleep. I said, that's their mindset. That's what you're supposed to do. Y'all doing what you're supposed to do. I wouldn't try to fight it. I ain't got no reason to fight it. I ain't trying to obey anyway. Just being honest. I don't get it. You know, it, it gets to a point at some time you got to start looking at. I've seen judges before, and judges are look heartless. Judges, some of them, they just look heartless. You say, man, you know what? That's a mean joker there. That joker there just rotten. Somebody saying a crying ethnic joker for mercy, he won't give it to him. Because you know what he said there and they consider? Everything you did, all your remorse, and now since you've been caught. What was your remorse before you done it? What was your crime before you committed the act? Huh? What was your begging and pleading before you took those people's lives? And you would look at the judge as though the judge was the person so wrong when you look at the people that, in, the people that inflicted the damage, the people that sat around and, and self will and did the destruction. They sit here now and they show all this pity and mercy. If I had another chance, I'm so sorry. Want to turn and talk to the family, apologize. But I want to hear that jump. Because whatever you did, you had a chance to think about it. There's nothing you just hardly do on a whim. Y'all hear me? You know it. Whether you think about it long or short, you know what you were doing. Y'all hear me? When every one of us sit here and we don't sit and consider, even when he told you when it came down, he told you, he told uh, your cousin, our son of man, he talked about when the people of the land take a man of their coast and they set him to be their watchman. He said when he sound the warrant, if he sound and the wicked don't seek to save his life. He said, you heard the sound of the trumpet. He said, if you didn't seek to save your own light and if the sword come and take you, he said, your blood on your own hand. We sit around and say, Wow, I mean, to me, I, I mean, I, I mean, give a person mercy. A person needs a chance. You don't realize, I gave you a chance. That's why I give you a watchman. A lot of stuff y'all sitting here, y'all playing, y'all do, you don't realize, you ain't escaping. That ain't my prayer, y'all escaping. That's not my prayer. We can't escape. You want to get yours, him. You'd rather get it him than you get it when you get to hell. Y'all hear me? I get it. Listen, I, I, talk, I ain't no advocate for y'all being no fool. I'm an advocate for y'all. I'm an advocate for y'all being the first people to go to hell if you don't get it right. Y'all know better. Amen. What y'all gonna sell and use? I didn't know. Did nobody tell me first time I heard it? Nobody warned me. Nobody told me. I didn't have all this bag of repentance. You know y'all ain't here. You know good and well. Book done told you. Don't let it be one name among you. Ad become a saint. Y'all here tight live for ad become a saint. Don't let it be once named among you. Y'all say here, man, y'all over the, you done overran your welcome. You done wore your welcome out with this man. For us to sit here and mess around and play the book done told you, seeing we can pass about with so great a cloud of witness. So, man, we got to run this race with patience. We had to lay aside every way. People watching us. We had to lay aside stuff. People watch us. We don't get the opportunity to chant the Hebrews like they say, well, I expect that from them. They don't let us get that. So we seen everybody watching No, We got to lay aside every way they're in the sin. He said, this thing is a hedge of sin. We try to run this raid with patience. We got to put stuff on people watching. You know what? Let me put that down. People watching me. People count. Let me tell you something. These people count. These people kick their camera on. These people ain't looking to see nobody. They ain't looking to see nobody. They looking to see me. If I ain't up here, it'd be because I'm using one of them and I'm doing something. Well, it ain't because I'm out here with some holes. I'm gone. I popped up missing all of a sudden. Ain't that right? People looking at me, looking at me, my man getting ready to come on. And I know my man come a month. My man going to be giving some knowledge out. My man gonna be covering some ground. My man gonna be telling what's going on with this, with this God-forsaken place we in. I'm looking for the call. Isn't that right? They didn't immediately coming down the middle, giving it to him straight, no chase. Let me get up here. First of all, I want to give him an apologize for my sins and my transgression. This is what my man done did. What my man been up there doing? I had a moment of weakness. Stuff don't make no sense. We know too much for this foolish y'all doing him. We know too much. Y'all hear me? I'm just being honest. We know too much. Got no being around here telling no lies. Some stuff y'all be putting on, he made no darn sense. I was talking to one of them, I was telling something. If you gave me some money to go do something, just tell me, you got some money on you? You got some? Hey, tight. Just come on, step up for Give me help my help for me. Give me some money. What you got? Just give me something simple. You don't give me this. You don't give me this so I can go do something that I'm supposed to do. Tell me you don't give me this to help me go do something I'm supposed to do. To go do what I'm supposed to do. All right. I'll come back at me if I did it. No, I ain't do it. I'm going to get you your money back. This some nigga stuff. This some nigga stuff. Whatever I was supposed to do when you gave it to me, if I ain't do it, 
Here go your money back. I ain't do it. Y'all do some scamming nigga stuff in here to me, boy. I don't be getting some of this stuff. I just don't get some of the stuff y'all do. Y'all hear me? Folks watching us. Every one of y'all here, y'all better be considering what y'all be doing. Y'all sold on the line. Yeah. Folks give you something to do, something that's what you're supposed to do. Right. That book told you to say and so do. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I ain't had no bend to get it. That ain't what I was going to do. You keep that. Right. Now I ain't going to do it. I'm good. Now y'all do a lot of stuff. Y'all like playing around. Y'all quit, start over, take breaks, get serious, stop, pick back up and go. Do I get that luxury? No. I got to keep going. Guess what? Everybody required to do that. Yeah. Everybody here required to do it. And that's the thing about it. I ain't doing that extra. This show reasonable service. Yeah. This show reasonable service. I don't get the opportunity to run out that door and take a break and run off and come back later on as I'm muddy myself up and come back and tell y'all, all right, all right I'm going to get serious now. Come in here with a gallon of milk. I'm finna get serious. The thing finna be real. This time, I'm finna get real serious this time. When folk been playing around, I still be here on the wall. Why y'all ain't got the mindset to stay on the wall? Why y'all ain't got the mindset that you can't be taking out? Why all these breaks going? What you think happened while you breaking? Too much procrastination. See, y'all got to look at something. When you set yourself to start building and you're trying to construct inside of, of the most high, a lot of stuff you just can't get yourself tied up with. Yep. That's just being under. A lot of y'all get too much. Y'all get your feeling on your side. Y'all get to worry about what's going to happen. Is this, my, is this my whole future? You can't even live your whole future yet. Not until you're dead. How you gonna already count? That's what y'all use for your, I already know I ain't going to never get nobody. Ain't nothing going to ever happen for me good. This is it for me. I'm going to wind up dying like this. How you know that? Why you talking, you still living. So how you know you're gonna how you gonna die? But you use that for a cop out for an excuse so you can go and commit sin. I already know what y'all use. Ain't nothing but just sinner's choice. All sinners got the same line. Ain't that right? Just like people on the wall know they gotta do. I gotta hold on. Y'all hear me? I gotta hold on. Y'all hear me? I'm desiring something. Pick me up, son, at the book of see if that's Nakum Yah. Man, we all over the place. Before we finish, before we get there, you finish up that cough. I know I got Acts Apostle 4 and Eucharist 6, but I'll come back if the most high see fit. We finish up that set cough, Beth, the second chapter. Where you at, verse 13? 14. 14, hold that for me. Come on, we'll go ahead and finish. Nakum Yah. Hold that for me, second chapter. Matter of fact, give me one and one be fine. Come on, finish this, um, the book of Cuff. Cuff, the second chapter, Beth, verse 14. Listen. Beguiling unstable souls. Beguiling unstable. That's why a lot of times you can't listen to everybody. You can't listen to everybody. People already know y'all unstable. That's why people know who to come to with some stuff. I don't watch everything. I don't listen to everybody. Man, look at that preacher. Such, such. I don't watch everybody. I just don't. I ain't interested. People tell me about people. I know that this dude preach. Let me tell you about it. It's a guy there preaching the truth. Y'all hear me? Standing, laying that thing down. Get what? On knowing. Know why? I ain't looking for him. I ain't mad at him. I'm praying for him. Y'all got me? I just ain't trying to listen to everybody. I just ain't trying to listen to everybody. People take it how they want to take it. I can't eat everybody's stuff. I can't afford to take something that thing you know, I get twisted up because I got a good intent. I'm going to open my mind up too long and I set to it and set in one and that thing you knows somebody don't pull me off. I ain't mad at them. They're supposed to send me stuff. They send me some nice little CDs in the mail. Pretty CDs. Not, I like them cases. Israel God down there in Miami. Send me some more. Biscayne Drive. I need more cases. May I go to hell if I listen to one of them. Y'all hear me? May I go to hell if I listen to one of them. Chunk that junk right in the garbage. Listen to that junk. Listen to them fella. I don't know your fruit. I already know what's on the tree. And all right, I'm going to go here and the fruit stink and funky. And I'm going to go kiss the tree. Don't make sense. The fruit came off that tree. I already know the tree ain't no good. The fruit already proof of it. Y'all hear me? I don't be listening to these people, man. They'll be all right. They can say what they want to say. There's a lot of people out there preaching. It's something to recommend me. I won't recommend them, though. They just figure we all swap it out. We'll do that. I recommend you, you recommend me. Ain't gonna happen. Y'all hear me? 
And every one out there, I put my name, I stand up. I ain't stand behind these jokers. I don't know what they'll do. I tell them in the first place, what you need me to sign off on you for? Yes, Jot that one down there in Jacksonville with them, old, with them bird seeds in their mouth. I was solving that joker. I don't know why he told them people that lie. Ain't never happened. I don't even play like that. I ain't sign off on that joker. Man, yo, they call you Yug Mouth. You can't get a preacher on them people, man, with no wood chips in your mouth. Man, you put 10 termites in that, 10 termites in that joker mouth, he's done. He's done. He don't eat that joker all the way down his belly. That thing critical, man. You can't just be signing off on these people, man. People be listening. People, why? They can say, Tony Smith a fool. I got credibility. Y'all hear that? I got credibility. People move to come see me. People call and wait on me. I'm about to try to wait on them niggas. They already know they full of junk, full of scam. I let them nigga put, preach me with his hat backward. He walking forward and his beard turned backward. You don't even know which direction you're going. Y'all hear me? That's crazy. That's total crazy you watch these people. I ain't got time for that foolishness. I know there's people out there preaching. I'm praying from every night and day. I'm praying for everyone hit me in. Just keep standing. Don't falter. Don't faint. Don't move. Am I out looking for them? They ain't even what he told me to do. I can't find where he told me to go find another one. Yeah. So why am I wasting time doing something he told me not to do? Right. Make most sense to me to take time to do what he sent me to do. Yeah. Ain't that right? Make sure I'm leading these people. I make sure y'all taking care of. Amen. I'm a hustler too. Yeah. Ain't that right? By trade. Ain't that right? I do just like the king of Tyree. I got this by my trading. Yeah. And he said, your wills, by your great trade. Ain't that by your wills? You done did a lot of trafficking. Yeah. Y'all, I did a lot of trading to get up what we had. Y'all yeah. hear me? He found on how they ain't in no position to lead nobody. Nigga sit around waiting on eBay. Can't leave me, man. You waiting on eBay. Not long before somebody go in and click on that job, man, and buy a little ball of oil. Man, we been star to death out here, man. You gotta hustle, man. I right, folk counting on me here, man. Cause on all he done peed on the ball and got wait on somebody to click on that. You know how much stuff on eBay for somebody to click on that and get pee? Pee by rotten tea. I don't want that junk, man. So and I breathed on it. I don't want that stuff. Y'all all right? That thing tight. Listen. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices, yeah. cursed children, which have forsaken the right way. See that? That'd be tight right now. See, we understand that. Man say, you know what I'm saying, exercise your heart, the evil practices. So you know your children curse. Cursed children. Listen. Which have forsaken the right way. And did what, son? And are going astray. So in order for me to do something wrong, I got to forsake the right way. Y'all know that? Y'all don't realize how important it is when you turn around and you commit sin. Do y'all understand what you do? You just totally just say, right out the one, just let it go, forsake it, turn your back, and do what you want to do. That's because y'all don't exercise your heart to evil practices. You ain't doing that nobody else can't do. It's just because of the word we have a restraint. There should be a Fear of Allahim the way you look at is certain things you just can't do. Y'all yeah. hear me? Yeah. As Balaam declared it the first time, if Barak would give me his house a full of silver and gold, I can't go beyond the word of Allahim to do less or to do more. Right. But see what y'all will do, I gotta give y'all nothing. You straight out the door the wrong way. He said you forsaken the right way and you done gone in the wrong way. Listen. Following the way of Balaam. That's the same way Balaam started. Balaam didn't start out right out the rip disobeying. He started out, he was obeying. At first, now, Balaam was a Malachi. He can go tell you what's something going on now. Balaam can inform you and let you know exactly how the thing going to go. But you know what happened? You do just like Balaam. You start out, your heart was in the right place. You were willing to sit down. You were willing to enjoy. You were willing to follow. And after a while, when the right opportunity came, you see a chance for you to get what you want, what you do. You're forsaking it. What happened, son? The son of Basor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity, the dumb ass speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, what else, son? clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. That tight right now. So you going out here, you looking like you got something and you ain't got it. That man said, man, the mist of dark, that thing, he got that thing reserved for you. Y'all hear me? You know they had to have something on reserve? You have a reserve tank. That does your wait. One day when you ain't got enough gas, I kick in. 
You know why they put it on them? They know one day you'll start out good. I don't run my car to half a tank. Anytime you get half a tank, I put some in. You know what they realize they put on them? It's going to be a day you ain't going to be hit a half a tank. It's going to be a day you don't get below half a tank. It's going to be a day you're going to push a little bit further. You ain't paying attention. That's when reserve going to kick in. Huh? Just like when you got reserve funds. Something going to come up, you're going to need them reserve funds. And you know what he did? He reserved hell for you. Because it's going to be one day you're going to wind up turning away from this way. And when you do, I already got some care for you because I knew you were coming. It's just your nature. You think they put them reserve tank on them car to never be you. They're there for a reason. They designed to be there for a reason. You think he made hell for no reason? He designed it. He prepared a place for people that will fear him and that will be constrained by his word and by his fear. He also constructed a place for people that ain't getting a flying flip about what he said. Do me. He got a play reserve, and he ain't made it for nothing. Every day, one of you guys typically make it enlarge itself. Yes, your Yahoo 514. The way of Yah. Ooh, we. Yes, your Yahoo. Oh, there's some good stuff here. Amen. Oh, now suck it. That thing ain't froze, is it? That thing, that gets cereal. <laughs> oh, now goodness. <laughs> Come on, help me now. Help me now. You know what I hate about that? Whoever made this company need their behind whoop. I put, why is this done plastic in him? I got it. Oh, oh, that's how you eat a watermelon now. Oh, yeah, how you do it? Whoa, that thing now right to that one. Woo-hoo! That's all. Uh, no added sugar, no preservatives, nature. Man, I can't see that thing. I'm going to hide them. I don't know what that word is. And not from concentrate. Now, what is that done? I can't see that, Sam. You can't see that? I know he's blind. I'm not getting killed. What is that? Yeah. Nature's own isotonic. That's what I was talking about. Nature own isotonic, baby. I can't see that. Same my dumb life. I don't know what's going on. Me and Leroy, we both got gifts. Brother Mike, send us some of that stuff to get rid of them glasses. Brother Mike can make up some stuff. Some of that other stuff, he don't know what he be talking about. (laughs) That eye stuff he got in that baby bottle, that's pretty good stuff. How many of y'all done used it? Who else used it? Bossy used it. He says, who used the baby bottle? Y'all be messing around. Y'all better get it. I'm going to get me some. Brother Mike, send me some of that stuff. Put it in my eye. I'm going to clean my eye. I'm going to get my eye back like your eye. Huh? I'm going to get my eye back like you and Tim. They know when I get my eye back like that, I can't talk to them. People with eye, we can't try to talk to me. When you get them, seriously, people with them eyes don't never communicate. We don't talk to each other. Try to talk to them again. So I can't even talk to them because they're back in it. It's just a, uh, put it, flip, don't worry about it. Keep going. What are we at, son? Yahoo 5 and 14. Let's see what happened. Listen. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. And what happened, son? And opened her mouth without measure. Y'all hear that? She opened her mouth. You can't measure hell. Other one, you give me the book of Kazun 11 and 1. And open her mouth. Without measure. Tell them what happened, son. And their glory. And? Their multitude. And what else, son? And their pomp. Yes. And he that rejoices. And he that does what? Rejoices. He that does what? Rejoices. Tell them what happened. Shall descend into it. Let's see about who that rejoices. Because now you know what that means. That means sad nigga now. He right. Sad nigga going to be saved. Look around. You look sad. That means you're going to be saved. The book of Romans 1 and by 27. He said he that rejoices. We want to clear that up for him. Isn't that right? So these people take what they want to hear. They see you, you rejoicing. You know you're going to hell. That's in the Bible. If you rejoice, it you means you're going to hell. This is the book of Romans 127. Listen. And likewise also. And like what? Wise also. Tell them what happened, son. The men leaving the natural use of the woman. I don't know how they read that. New Testament creature and come up with a man and a woman can be homosexual. He said left the natural use of the woman. Huh? That natural for a man to be on top of a woman. That ain't natural for no man to be on top of no other man. Amen. 
He said, natural. That what nature teach a man. I started hunching in elementary on a woman. Well, she was a girl then. When you was in nursery, you pulled to play house. Pull be a mom and a daddy, and you pull to tell all the kids, y'all go out there and play now. I was in nursery. I put the dog out. We put the dog out the dog house. I just said, get out of here, nigga. The kids go on to play. You get out of here, too. <laughs> that was natural. Ain't that natural? That what they call that? What the old folk call that natural? Listen. Burned in their lust one toward another. How a man burning can't hardly hold himself back from another man? Like Odell Beckham. Boy, you need your behind, boy. <laughs> Sitting there, old faggot. What is he anyway? He's not one of us. Ain't from South America or somewhere? Where ain't from? From Canada? Well. He ain't no coon from him. He a coon from somewhere else. He ain't no coon from us. He on what? He from Louisiana. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that, that crawfish? Isn't that right? Listen. Men with men working that which is unseemly. See that? And not even proper. He said working that which is unseemly. You can't put your commando in that man, Tonner. That's unseemly. What happened, son? And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. You hear that? Magic Johnson. See what happened? He went there and messed around and put his meat in there? He said, you got that in your meat. Go ask someone he got that ASAP. All right. Y'all mess around you want to, didn't it? They ever, what did he say? He said, he sat there, you done worked and did it. Now you done got it in your meat. Go take him to the doctor and see what they check, how he know he got it. One day pull that bun off. You know what they say? Boy, that thing in your meat. <laughs> Man, y'all ain't got to believe me. I tell you what, go sleep with him. But you ain't coming back here. I guarantee this in his meat. <laughs> they don't believe. You see? Y'all ain't going to do right. Where is it at, Boston? It's in his meat. Go pull the bun back. You'll see it. Read again. These folks ain't trying to listen. Y'all got to listen. And receiving in themselves. Back up, son. What happened? Men with men. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. That wasn't right with him and Isaiah were kissing. Come on. And receiving in themselves. See that? He got it in himself. What? That recompense. That recompense. Of their error. Of their error. Which was meat. See that? It's in the meat. All right. Go down. And them folks got any kind of poison, like in them birds, what are they going to say? It's in the meat. Yeah. Ah, they ain't going to believe me. I'm telling you, they ain't going to believe me. The boy got it in his meat. <laughs> Listen, so, so, get Sister Johnson a demerit. He said, it's appropriate. Where's that? It's in the meat. Listen. And even as they did not like to retain Allahim in their knowledge. That's what make you do it. That's like they phone they leave out, they can say they want to. You get, you get butt naked freaky. You ain't gonna tell me your knowledge. You say, John, why folks try to lie with no scarf on? Go and take that thing off. Go and tell and put you on some pints. Get you some missy. Ooh, we missy to use a genius. How the same pints fit me, fit my wife. Ain't that my well going all the way? I don't know what these folks playing around for. Listen. Allahim gave them over to a reprobate mind. A worthless mind. Come on. To do those things which are not convenient. Listen. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with all what? Unrighteousness. Tell me like what kind of unrighteousness, son? Fornication. See that? Come on. Wickedness. Wickedness. Covetousness. Covetousness. Maliciousness. Come on. Full of envy. Yeah. Murder. Mm -hmm. Debate. Yeah. Deceit. Yeah. Malignity. Mm -hmm. Whisperers. Come on. Backbiters. Haters of Allahim, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of Allahim. Who knowing the what? Judgment of Allahim. What happened, son? That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Y'all know what's amazing when you pay attention to all them talking about homosexuality. Everybody take their deal with the homos, the homos. 
He started talking about people fornicating, people without natural affection. He started talking about people whisper. You know, folks, that's why they tell people you put a whisper in church. See, ignorant black people, you don't go to hell. That's sitting in the back talking about people murmurs. Isn't that right? People, they ain't talking about no folks sitting right now. Yeah, old folks wouldn't let you want, want you to whistle. Because if folks don't know no better, you get the ignorant teacher make a fool out of He say how all these folks right here, he murmur, he let you know. And the, the part where people don't pay attention to when he say here talking to these folks, he said, they know. Yeah. Who knowing? The judgment of Allah That what happened? They which commit such things. A word of what? Death. He said, you already knew it before you done it. That's the problem he got. You know, you'll look at these people. Well, see, I don't talk about homos or dick because, see, they don't know. That's not what he just sat here and said. He said, they already know the judgment. Why you, if they didn't know, why would they, why would they worry about you getting it out of your Bible? Why would they worry about you telling them about them being gay going to hell? If I don't know, I don't even know what you're talking about. Because they do know. And what they need you to do is stop telling them. He said, you already know. You know before you find a kid wrong. People know before the king. You don't go do it right there in front of your mom and daddy. You know good and well. They're wrong. Even kids knew it wrong. I knew it wrong when I was a child. Ain't any people don't know ain't wrong. When they start talking about you sit here with the knowledge, you commit these things. He said, you already know the judgment of Allah. That they will commit these things are worthy of death. Listen, who else? Not only do the same. Not only now that do the same. But have pleasure in them that do them. That's why he told you in the book of Yeshayahu. There are multitude, there are pump, and those that rejoice. He said, all of you going straight to hell. Why well, no doing RuPaul? That's that right. Grown big black nigga kissing another big black nigga. Wasn't well, that junk? So you gonna rejoice? No Caitlyn Jenner? You're always gonna be Bruce. Care what you cut off, you still Bruce. Now what did mama call him? That's what we gonna call him. Sitting around with that foolish junk. Y'all sit around and wanna watch that junk go on a world tour. Take that nigga around the world and throw him straight in the hill. Look at the 17th verse. That same first chapter. Let's see what he said. Other brother got me the book of Kazun 11 and 1. We're kind of all over the place tonight, but it's right. Listen. For therein is the righteousness of Allah revealed from faith to faith. Y'all hear that? He said, here the righteousness of Allah him. It's been revealed from faith to faith. Talk to me, son. As it is written. As it is written. The just shall live by faith. Y'all hear this? From the first man that believed him, it would count him the righteousness to the time we're in now. Ain't moving still the same. That's how we're going to be justified. Isn't that right? We're supposed to be standing on it. Don't you, you ain't the only person sitting around burning and hot in heat. You ain't the only person that's going through and suffering. You ain't the only person without your spouse. You ain't the only person single. You ain't the only person that don't make enough money to pay all your bills. But where's your faith at? That's right. That's right. Soon as somehow y'all act like y'all the only person. The book told you knowing the same official being accomplished in your brethren, which are in all of him. You ain't the only person going through. That's when you start to separate yourself. I watch some of y'all do the most weirdo, stupidest stuff. Separate yourself, get yourself tied up with this world junk. You already know where you're going. Then think you spiritual. You know you ain't spiritual. How you gonna be spiritual? You ain't connected to the body. Yeah. Spirit done less. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, they ain't mess up. Well, how am I discount? You already knew what happened. The book done told the book of Yehuda. They are those that do what? Seven. So what was my intent when I separated myself? I was already setting up to do what I was gonna do. So you central, you don't have a spirit. Nobody got no spirit separating. You don't have it. Can't get it when you separate it. You got to have a mind to be with the people all of him. That's, right. That's what we get our strength from. You know you ain't the only one. Right. Who ain't here the only one going through something? But when you by yourself, get what? You on something the only one. Go ask all y'all who, why he said he was the only one left. Because he wasn't with the others. There was no way that they know it was some other that was standing. He said, I and I alone. He said, I got 7,000 reserved well under me. They together. Hand he bow their knee to the image of Bell. That would be stupid enough to think you the only one. Yeah. Amen. Man, I got the first one to get a done commando and a coochie. Yeah, that's right. Be the first one with no titties. Right. To my nipples so I can cut diamonds. <laughs> or get you a done, a done jaw with 
the gallon son. Cut them down and put your darn bra back on. Go on down out of Zales. Cut them done diamonds, put that bra back and bring your behind the service and pay your tithe. Get back there in the back room by your done cell. Cut them quick for the sun. <laughs> Cut them up and come on to done service. Isn't that right? You ain't gonna cut it in no done man's mouth, ain't your husband. That's right. Let's try and get cut off from the done living. Yep. Everybody think they be the only done one in here. Everybody get it on, on. You ain't the only one. Everybody going through something. Right. Don't change the fact you gotta live right. Yeah. They're trying to show you here the righteousness all of him being revealed from faith to faith. Yeah. You ain't the first person. Oh, I don't know how weak run right, all them sinners. Abraham was around more sinners than you. Yeah. Wasn't nobody else righteous but him and his family. Right. Still he stood. That's right. Amen. Isn't that right? He can stand around there and go take down one of them hypocrites. That's right. Man, kept standing. Yeah. Isn't that right? Amen. You wait on that man, he faithful. That's what you got to stand on. Yeah. Listen to the book. For the wrath of Allah is revealed from Shamayim. Y'all hear that? The wrath of Allah is revealed. The wrath of Allah is revealed from Shamayim. Against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Listen. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Yeah, you know what's true, but you're going to do it and you're going to hold it in unrighteousness. You're going to have the truth and go do what's wrong. Huh? He said going to reveal it from Shamayim. That's why it's destroying them. Huh? Okay. I'll do what y'all want to. Man I'm trying to tell you. So that man Ralph going to be revealed. That's why that man tearing that place up down here. These people know what's right. Your government know what's right. Huh, your mayor, your senator, they know what's right. These people know what's right. The people that wrote and put this book together, they knew what was right. Ain't that right? But they're going to hold the truth and unrighteousness. And he revealing his wrath on them. That's why their children curse. He take them down. They think they got out of here and they got away. They ain't got away. He getting their children. Just like he did with Ahab, didn't he? He didn't kill Ahab. He killed seven of his sons, though. He made sure he got his sons. Isn't that right? Yeah. He poured it right. You ain't going to get away. A lot of stuff we sit around, we committed. Our parents sit around committed. You paying for it. Yeah. They think they got out of here. You ain't got nowhere, baby. You ain't escaped. I'm going to get your children. Yeah. I'm going to get your children, children. Yeah. I'm going to make it hard on you. Everybody going to have to turn and you want to acknowledge this man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We don't sit here and say that man done poured the rap out on our father. We ain't got no choice but to turn that you're going to be stupid. Right. Don't make sense to keep doing the same stupid stuff they did. You could have stayed a Christian. How in the world you live better as a Christian you do on the truth? Because you know you ain't nothing. You can live under something ain't got no standard. Only thing mess you up with this way right here, you've been told not to do it. He wouldn't have told you not to do you'd have done it. You'd obey it because he told you you wouldn't do it. And now you're going to have to pay for it. It ain't no good unless I told you to do it. You think somebody, you can't accidentally be living right. You can't mistakenly come up and you've been living right. It purpose you're going to live right. Like it purpose you're going to hell. Y'all hear me? You need the word. You need the word. Huh? Look at the fourth chapter of the book of Galatians. I love this book. Galatians chapter four. Come down and give me about verse, see if it's about verse 10. Make it eight. It's all the same word. Galatians 4 and 8. Listen. I'll be it then. That's what I want to know about. Bad remember, give me verse 6. Listen. And because you are sons. And because you are sons. Allahim sent forth the spirit of his son. Crying in, what? Into your hearts crying, Abba, Father. Abba. And years ago, what they told her that was? Aramaic. That's error that you said it. No, doing Aramaic. That's for the Abba read. We cry Abba because we look at Abraham. Huh? Yeah. Listen. Crying Abba, Father. Listen. Wherefore thou art no more a servant. But what happens, son? But a son. But now you are a son. Listen. And if a son. Then what? Then an heir of Allahim. How? Through the Mashiach. Listen. How be it then when you knew not Allahim. Now when you did, when you knew not who? Allahim. I ain't even know Allahim. What happened, son? Ye did service unto them. Which are who? Which by nature are no gods. So you're going to tell me he's going to say he's going to acknowledge that? I didn't know Allahim. I was just doing service to something that wasn't even him. 
and he's going to give me credit for that. That's our stupidity. He said, how was it that when you didn't know him, you did service unto them which were not Allahim? The service you gave them, he said, should have been to me. But what happened, son? But no. Y'all don't tell me this, this is the way of y'all synagogue. This is talking to us. How is it that you were doing service to them which were not out of here? You did a whole lot better under Jesus. I ain't finna go to hell. But now when you learn who he is, I mean, I guess I just got to go to hell. How does that work? But he, he asking a question. Ain't that right? Shaul right. He talking to us. It was stuff you couldn't have talked us into doing. You could forget it. And let down my Jesus? But what did he told us happened? But now, after that you have known Allahim. Or rather. Are known of Allahim. That's what a, see, that's what a lot of folk mess up. You say you know him, but guess what? I don't know you. Give me the book of Ari, y'all. Finish that up. Or rather are known of Allahim. Or rather known of Allahim. I'll turn ye again to the weak and beggarly again, element. Again, I mean, you already done that. You already done fornicated before. No A? Yo, shit, got it, yo. My mind, y'all. Thank you, y'all. Pay him out. Ori, y'all. I put the A there. Part of my mind, pronunciation. But the R for the Rosh. Ori, y'all. Ori, y'all. Y'all got it? 644. He want to know now. How was it when you didn't know Allahim, you did service to them by nature, which are no Allahim? But after that, you known him, or rather, are known of him. How did you wind up turning back to the weak and begging elements of the world? How did y'all wind up turning back to these little small principal things? Mm. That's dangerous. If anything, we ought to be living better with the information Amen. we get. How is it you get this language and you get worse? But we weren't speaking the language. We were just speaking pure English. You were great. Mm. You could hold out. You could wait. You can call it like you want him. Huh? You can wait on any time, anywhere. Yep. Use me. And that's on use me. They ain't coming on here and they ain't getting this now. And you probably all used up. Mm. Huh? Now your name Busted Condom. You can't do no no Busted Condom. Throw it in the trash. That's just something for y'all to think about. It's dangerous though, but you know it's amazing. That's how we know the book right. Because it's talking about us. Yeah. They're talking about it. I don't know how in the world you quit when you learned more and you were, when you knew less, you were more faithful and you were more studious. Going the wrong way. Had you died, you'd have gone to hell. Spared you and let you hear the truth all of a sudden now. I just can't do it no more. It's just too much. Hey, anything the knowledge give me a more reason to stand. That's right. It give me more of a reason to separate from these wicked people. So I learned this is what he speaks, this is what he says, then he's got to hear me. This is his language. That's why we're learning because it's his language. It's his discipline. Listen, this is the sixth chapter of the book of Ori, y'all. For those of y'all that are looking in, because I got new people looking all the time, you'll call the book of Luke. Listen. In verse 44. Listen. For every tree is known by his own fruit. That's what, uh-oh. That's what he said. He said, by, you can't know no apple tree by no orange tree. That's retarded. He said, every tree known by its own fruit. What you get off of me, an apple? Then you already know what I am, huh? I'm an apple tree. You can't know about another tree. You cannot go there and take a plum over there and say, that's an apple tree because this plum has nothing to do with that apple tree. Mm. He said, every tree is known by its own fruit. Then you got to look at what you're putting out. What you're putting out says what kind of tree you are. You're not the kind of plant. You're not the tree he put up. Huh? He told you every tree his father hadn't planted. It's going to be hewn down. It's going to cut y'all down. Y'all hear me? Because he's looking at what you're producing. I hadn't planted. There's no way I put everything he put here in the book of a sheet. He told it to reproduce what he established it to be. Everything. 
Everything was put there had to reproduce the exact same thing had made replicas of what it was. Huh? Because when he go back and look at the last elephant when he come back, it's got to trace right back to the first one. He come back and look at the last, the last antelope, it's got to trace right back to the first one. Because I know what I put here, when I come back, everything I didn't put, I'm going to get rid of it. Because I hadn't put it here. Mm. He told y'all then they came down with a man sold seed. And some fell on good ground and some fell by the wayside. Some fell on stony ground and they wouldn't continue. They wouldn't endure. Isn't that right? Because of persecutions and tribulation, because of the word, by and by, they are offended. Huh? When he came along, he said he's going to send the Malachi in and try to reap it in. They said, sir, you don't put out good seed. Whence then come these tares? Without that we pull them up? He said, no, no, no. He said, lest you do that, you wind up pulling up the wheat. He said, let the wheat and tares grow together in the day of harvest. I'm going to do the separate. When I come back, I'm coming back with a sword. I told you, I told y'all your cousin, I told He said a sword is sharpened. And you know what it's sharpened for? The day of slaughter. He said going to be a day. And you know what everything you see going on here now? This is just a test. How many told him to take and strike it upon your thigh? He said this is just a test. Huh? He told him to take his hand. Which will be what word? Kabaku. That mean to clap. Clap the hand. Kabaku. Clap those hands. And then he told him to double the sword. Huh? Double the sword. Don't y'all know that man come in, what he gonna do to y'all? The man will gave y'all a total description of what he looks like and what he gonna come back to do. He says it's gonna be for the day of slaughter. Because I know what I put here when I get back, all I got is tear. I know I didn't put it here. This ain't hard to take this down. I know everything I put here. When I get back, I know I didn't put you here. So what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to cut it up. When he come back here, and you know what's going to happen? He going to look like one that been in the wine press. Huh? They say, well, no, who is this come down from eating with dyed garments? Huh? Why? Who, who is red in his apparel? When I come back, I got the sword. It's going to be so for the slaughter. When I come back, what y'all think going to happen to y'all? Y'all have sat in my class. You have played. You have fallen asleep. Y'all have fornicated, adultery, you lusted, you lied, you cheated, you backbite, you done done everything under the sun, but you ain't done it you don't get away from. Mm. The book said, and you shall not escape. That's right. The book asked you how we going to escape if we neglect so great salvation. Which at the first was spoken to us by Yahushua. And was confirmed unto us by them that man got a message. That's why he said a Malachi got a message for you. He bare with him both with signs and wonders. Yeah. Divers miracles and grip of the Ruach HaKadosh according to his own will. His own will. Why ain't got it yet? It's his will you don't get it yet. He wants to see somebody going to hold out. You ain't holding out. Y'all, y'all, some stuff you got to keep pen and stop. It's just retarded. Yeah. Somebody taught me on how to forgive somebody. That didn't make no sense. Mm. How am I making it? I just, I, I just can't get over. I can't forgive Leon. I, I can't be saved. You ain't got to talk to me about that. I can't be saved. That's my body. Somebody got to talk to me to tell me I can't be saved. Hateful, cheating, flim flamming, backbiting. Y'all are, are a great group of people. It's a great group of people. But y'all won't go unpunished, though. That's the good thing, man. You will not go unpunished. Y'all know that? Y'all ain't going to go unpunished, though. That's the good thing about it. Y'all hear me? Y'all go ahead and go to sleep and take the rest. You ain't going unpunished, though. This man ain't sharp no sword for nothing. Huh? That's how he told the man, look, so a sword is sharpened. He want to know, why is this man sharpening a sword? It's for the day of slaughter. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead and say about know how to cut meat. You know anything about cutting meat. You know what you want to do when you start before you go try to cut some meat? Sharpen them. Don't sharpen them knives. Because you're going to look at the job I got. Is it one piece? I'm butchering a whole, am I butchering a whole slaughter? Well, am it's a, is it a, 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 a whole flock I'm slaughtering? Is it one, what I'm slaughtering? I'm going to sharpen my knife according to. This man got to come back here, and he got to kill off all these people. What you think that man doing this sword? He's this thing here, sharp. Huh, this thing is sharp. Come on, son, let me see what your cars y'all tell us since I'm talking about it. They don't want to hear this. Other I get it, go ahead and get Kazun right quick, the 11th chapter. So I can tell them who ain't getting in. The 
the cause of call. Sit at the 21st chapter. Man, that thing beautiful. Yeah, but get your heart right. Oh, y'all ain't got something to make restitution with it. Don't worry about it. Just remember Gamal. Just remember the Gamal. Ain't that right? That man ain't playing. That way he tried to tell y'all, if you still be filled, I want you to stay filled. There's some people, I only want y'all to clean up. What y'all do with that? People don't know this man, do they? If he told you if you filthy, I want you to stay filthy. Why? If you, if you uncondized, I want you to stay uncondized. Because I'm coming real fast. You tell when that man break and he calm, I only want you to try to clean up. Because my reward is with me. Let's get every man. All right, once I leave, I already got you. It's like sometimes people leave, they say, Hey, you luck. Can you go back? I'm already gone. I can't turn around. So it don't make sense for you to change. If you could dodge, I want you to stay could dodge because I already can't. I already left. Y'all hear me? If you sadok, I need you to stay sadok because I already left. I'm coming so fast, I ain't got time to go back. I get back down here, you're in chain, you already feel that. I don't know why. You still in no bank. I told you to stay filled. If people don't realize, if people ain't going to get in, they don't even realize this man, this man is not trying to save all these people. Y'all don't realize just what kind of great salvation you got. That's why it's great. If people ain't getting in, do y'all, it's people that's not going to be saved by this man. These people walk out here and want, and want death, and death ain't going to overtake them. Huh? Hell, I ought to just die. They'd be too scared to die. He said, I want you to die. I got another plan on how I'm going to kill you. Make you suffer and go through life. Wanting death and can't even find it. You don't want to play with this man. You don't want to play with this man. That man, let me tell you what. Y'all don't want to play with this man. Y'all don't know this man. You really don't know this man, what he'll do to you. This man put a mark on you. He'll put a mark on you that no man will kill you. That man will send you out and you ain't even tell the You're stuck greater than what you can bear. Go ask another man he did it to. Cain told him that. He sent him out and put a mark on his forehead. Sit in my dwelling. Let them know. Nobody's going to kill Cain. I'm going to let you suffer. Yeah, man, put you out here and make you suffer. A lot of times y'all be thinking y'all getting away because you're young, you're healthy. Y'all don't realize, listen, I done done a lot of stuff y'all trying to do. I've been there. I'm at a point now where I look at I'm suffering from a lot of stuff I've done in my past. I look at a lot of stuff now, how it's been given to me, how I had to get it back. You got to look at so you got to pay. That's a good thing about it. Made me appreciate it. If I got out and they ain't had to pay, I would know how to get back out there and play and get back before I had to pay. He said, no, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for that. I spent a lot of money trying to get well. He said, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for that. He don't, man, I get some time. I get some time. It'd be real rough on me. It'd be rough. It'd be rough on me, man. I'm telling you, that thing be so rough on me, man. I'd be laying there. Man, rough. But I don't even go to him about it because I already know. You got to pay for that stuff. So you know, when I that man, you know, so I sold to the wind. What I gotta get? You get more than what you that's the only reason you sow seed is to get back the harvest. So I don't sit here and throw seed to the wind. He said, Oh, you're trying to get a whirlwind. That thing popped back. And I'm what I'm gonna tell him. Cut the whirlwind off. That way you sold. I, I done told y'all I'm not mauled. Whatever a man sow. How am I at that man? Let me, if I go do something good, I'll help you out. You need some money. I'm looking for him to bless me and give me back. Now, if I come and I take some money from you, I'm looking to make sure he take me down for it. And if that ain't my mindset, that's it. He said that. I got to give you what you done sold. I got to give you what you sold. See, that's why I tell you, y'all ain't fair. Y'all not fair. Y'all not fair. Go ahead and raise your hand. Are we fair? No. Are we unfair? Because we want to do, we want to get away, we want forgiveness. We want another chance. We want his mercy and his grace. We want his love and his compassion. We want him to just hold us in the depths of his love. Huh? But then we go contrary, and we want him to do that according to his word. Because he said, I'm long-suffering, forgiving iniquity, showing mercy to thousands of them that love me. But then he come right back and told you, though. 
but I recompay, I repay them to their face of them that hate me. He told us that. I repay them to their face, them that hate me. Isn't that not what he told us? Yeah, Ukanon, 1524. Other brother Kazun 1 at verse 7. Let's see what he said. 1522. Yah Ukanon. 1522. Other brother Kazun 1 and 7. Let's see what he told you. Listen. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Listen, what else have them? He that hated me hated who? My father also. Listen. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, tell them what would happen, son. They had not had sin. You'd be blameless. What happened, son? But now have they both seen? And what did they do? And hated both me and my father. Both me and my father. Talk to me, son. But this coming to pass. Tell them why it come to pass. That the word might be fulfilled. Y'all hear this? He did tell y'all why this came to pass. He said so that the word could be fulfilled. What? Tell me what the word say. That is written in their law. Tell them what it said in their law, son. They hated me without a cause. Now, you know what the thing was about this statement he made? Because you would actually go looking for this statement, but that's not what you should have been looking for. You'll go back in your law and you'll try to find where it says they hated me without a cause. That's, what, that's not what you should have been looking for. He told you that this coming to pass, that is written in your law. The reason why he told you about you hating him, because this brings right back to the statement he told you. He kept telling you about two people. If you hate me, you hate my father also. This came to pass, so you hate both me and, I already told you this, at the book of Kazun 1 and 8, 1 and 7. Listen. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Only he told you that. Every eye gonna see him? Because I told you what I do to my enemies. I repay them to their face. So when you go back looking at the law, you were going to look at he hated me without a cause. That's not what you should have been looking at. In your law, he told you what I do. I show mercy to them that love me. Thousands of them. He said, but I repay my enemies to their face. Of them that hate me. So he told you that you hated me without a cause. You should have been knowing that. You should have known the law. That's why he told you the only reason it's going to happen because it's in your law. I repay you to your face, them that hate me. So when y'all commit sin, guess what you just did? You hate it. So when I come back, I want to repay you to your face. Only he told you he coming with Clouds. And every eye shall see him. What the purpose of telling me every eye gonna see him? That's why I'm gonna pay you to your face. I gotta repay you to your face. I don't wanna be what they call a dirty nigga do it behind your back. Cause that one, see that one makes sense, cause that's not in your law. Your law clearly told you that I repay them that hate me to your face. So what I told you is written in your law, you hated me without a cause. You should have known the law. Because that don't make sense unless I understand all of the law. See, that's why y'all got me up there. Y'all don't, don't even know what you've you know you done, do you? You know y'all remind me of? That fellow on Golden Child, he said, he said, you don't even know, you, break, you don't even know what you've done. That fellow standing looking stupid. He said, you don't even know what you, you just brave. Y'all don't even know what you've done, do you? You just set yourself up. I saw what he told I'm cut every eye go, why would every eye need to see him? Because what did I tell you in my law? If I don't do that, then I've already broken my own laws. You got to see me because I've got to repay you to your face. See if that the book of, um, see if that Bar Mitbar, the 14th chapter. Let me say that what I want. Say that the 14th chapter of Bar Mitbar. Say that 14 and 14. Let me see what that say. I got to write it up on the phone, don't I? Let 
14, 14. Let me say that what I want. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land, for they have heard that thou, Yahuwah, art among this people, that thou, Yahuwah, art seen face to face, and that thy cloud standeth over them, and that thou goest before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud, and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, if thou shalt kill all this people as one man, then the nations which have heard the fame of thee will speak, saying, Because Yahuwah was not able to bring this people into the land which he sware unto them, therefore he hath slain them in the wilderness. And now I beseech thee, let the power of my Yahuwah be great, according as thou hast spoken, saying, Yahuwah is long-suffering. Is what? Long-suffering. Is what? Long-suffering. What else, son? And of great mercy, mm -hmm. forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Of uh, who? Unto the third and fourth generation. Of uh, what? Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity. Sit in the 33rd chapter of the book of U Allah Shemut. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 33, what I want? 33 and 4? 34. Let me see. 33 and 4. Listen. And when the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornaments. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For Yahoo. No. Yeah, 34. Dabarine 17, appreciate you. 17, what? All are a Dabarine. Thank you, Dwayne. I think it was in Ul Allah Shemut too. 17, what verse I want? 7 and 10. Oh, 7. The 7 chapter. In fact, make it 7 and 1. Let's see how you got picked. Ul Allah. I mean, all are He Dabarim. Okay, seven and one. Listen, when Yahuwah thy Allahim shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, mm -hmm. and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou, and when Yahuwah thy Allahim shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor shew mercy unto them. Y'all see what happened with us? He said, when he smite these nation, go out. We ain't supposed to show no mercy to these people. We tried that before. Who did that for us? Shaul did it. All right? While well, losing their position. So a lot of times these people can sit around and think I want to. And, oh, he heartless, whatever. When he come back to show you, when he smite these people and take them down, I told us, don't show them no mercy. Don't show these people. It's at his command. It ain't ours. And he's still righteous. These mm -hmm. people, he looked at taking down, these people were wicked. These people grow contrary. Just like we see these people when he take them down. So don't show no mercy for these people. Listen, don't make no covenant with them. Don't make no agreement with them. That's why we're looking to serve a tie with these people now. Y'all get your hearts out from these people. Amen. Listen. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughter, Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son, for they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So 
will the anger of Yahuwah be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Now, you know what happened with people? They start looking at They tell you black shouldn't marry whites, white shouldn't marry black. That's not what they're talking about. When you're talking about marrying these people while they're outside in the way of their gods, we don't marry them. We don't take them. Shalom and Shoda, what happened? You take these people. They'll turn your heart. So as soon as he got all old, he made altar to these white. So these white hearts weren't fully turned to him. If they were fully turned to him, wouldn't have been no need to make no altar to him. Ain't that right? Their heart was always with their God. We don't marry nobody outside of them, them God. Y'all can go marry these Christian you want to and go marry a Muslim. But I wouldn't marry you to them. By the fact, I'm going to run you off my property. Because I already know your heart is going to get turned on. And you ain't going to make it him. And I'm just being honest. Ain't that, that's in them. They ain't got to be no different color, same color. It's the same thing. People go tell you black shouldn't marry white, white should. I don't teach that. I tell you, ain't no saint should marry no sinner. A sinner come in all shape, creeds, and colors. Isn't that right? You marry them, they got to be in their way. Yeah. They got to have a mind to go there. Otherwise, they're going to turn your heart. He told you. Why he didn't ever say you're going to wind up or you can wind up convincing them? It never wind up happening. Well, you the wind up happening, they wind up pulling your behind. Yeah. That magnetic pull from them is strong, and they wind up pulling you over there. Just like with him, he wasn't going to draw them women. They hadn't changed. They knew they watched you long enough. Eventually, you'll slip up. Yeah. I just, I just wish I had a little something. Everything in the house is like the you and your God. I ain't, I just a little old room, just something. Just, if I just get a little something, that thing you know, hard turn. Yep. Build them nothing. Should have chopped one of them helpers in the head. Y'all hear me? Yeah. I'm playing no jump like that. All right, tell me, look, put a little Jesus in a room. Put no doing Mexican in there. Right. Run up behind out of there. Y'all hear me? Play no stuff. I don't Amen. play like that. That's right, amen. Here I ain't putting no little Tabuda door. None of that junk going in there. That's right. There ain't no Hindu puppet. None of that junk coming up in there. Amen, that's right. I done sat there and seen how he turned Nakum. Y'all brought the same thing up to the people, he told them. You remember Shaluma? How he sat there, he aired about doing it when we would have stayed with Abraham and told him, don't marry them people. He was like, I'm not taking these people. Only reader made made seven take Keturah. Keturah had to be one that already looked toward his way. But them children would not count as seed to the promise. All right. Now, look what y'all want. Nobody want to talk about Keturah, do they? They may say he took her. She was serving the Canaanites. Huh? But he had to send them boys away, though. Yeah. Separate them. Mimicking who? Huh? The Ruach? Nuach? Why are you looking like that? You just so confused. You just hoping. You, you, the man said, are you fishing for straws right now? You know, what are you fishing for? Just trying to think. But I mean, even if you ain't even nowhere on the page, you know. 26th chapter of the book of Matthew, Matthew Yahoo. I just call that. For real, do I? 26, 55. Listen. In that same hour, said Yahushua to the multitudes, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and stabs for to take me? Listen. I sat daily with you, teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. Listen. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. All this was done for what reason? That the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. The scriptures of the who? Of the prophets. Might be what? Fulfilled. Tell them what happened, son. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. You know why they, when they forsook him? Why he was yet alive. That's what he did. That's what Abraham did. He made all them boys leave Yasakut while he was yet alive. Y'all ain't got to pay attention to nothing. Don't worry about it. Whole book talking about him. He couldn't send him away when he was dead. It made sense. They had to be scattered while he was living. See, the only thing you knew was what you found from yesterday. That's why I tell you, a lot of people are not clever. You go read little column reader. You ain't clever. You're an idiot. You column reader. I don't, I don't respect no column reader. Ain't that right? Nigga, go play Spider-Man. You want to climb, climb column. I ain't got time to play with no column readers. Ain't that right? All this, just, you got to understand the deeper parts of the law. Everything stemmed from the fathers. The mere fact that he sent them away while he was yet alive. They scattered away from him. Where they at? Where all those people at when they left? You don't know. They were scattered. Where did they go when they left him? When did the, when the disciple left him, where did they go? You don't know. They scattered. Ain't that right? While he was yet alive. 
Let them hear, son, the Barashit, the book of Barashit, 25 and 1. Man, y'all get a lot of information. But it ain't going to be long. Uh, one lady called. She wanted me to send her some definitions and words and spellings. Sweet, I ain't going to be able to do all that. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to be able to do it. I appreciate it. You just keep watching and listening. Ain't that right? Ain't, that's not happening. I'm not sending out nothing. Everybody be all right. Everything you're going to get, you're going to have to sit down and you're going to have to get it. Ain't that right? That's it. I told you, folks, that do again. That's why I'm going to be right down. I'm going to be closing up on these people real soon. Ain't that right? Yeah. By our sheep, was it 25 and 1? Listen. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. What she do, son? And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begot Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashurim and Lutushim, Lutushim and Luumim. And the sons of Midian, Ephah and Ephah, and Hanak and Abida and Eldah. All these were the children of Keturah. All these were the children of Keturah. Tell me what happened, son. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Yatsukut. And Abraham gave all that he had to who? Yatsukut. And what did he do, son? But unto, the, but unto the sons of the concubines. Tell them what he did, son. Which Abraham had. Abraham gave gifts. And you know what happened? Same and, thing he did in the book of Tehna, in the fourth chapter of the book of um, Ephesians. Before he was up on high, he led captivity count. And what did he give? Gifts, he son. gave gifts unto men. He was the son of Abraham. Abraham gave. See, that's why I say you got to know the law. So when you read their writers, it don't make sense. People try to go in there and try to disannul their epistle letters talking about the law. You idiot. They wrote based off the law. He was the son of Abraham. He told you, hitherto my father worked. What you think I'm going to do? I'm going to give gifts unto men. Men that are going to be my sons. Because I'm going to beget them, which is going to make me the father. Listen. And sent them away from Yasukut, his when? son. Why? While he yet lived. That's why they had to be scattered while he was living. See, it was that important. They couldn't scatter after he was up on the two. After he was dead. He had to let them scatter while he was alive. Because he had to do the same thing just like his father did. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Come on, man. What I had you on, man? I had you in, um, uh, yeah, finish me up in um, Dabarim. All our, all our hey, Dabarim, chapter 7. Where we left our verse 2? Verse 5. Verse 5. Let me get it. 7 and 5. Listen. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art an Kudash people. Y'all see what we're supposed to do to these people's stuff? Tear that junk up. Go neatly fold no Jesus. Stunt that nigga to grind him to powder. I never call somebody an atheist. They are atheists. They try to program that mind. He don't want to just do that, you know, because then it's offense to other people. That's what he, It's an offense to him. Amen. So you tear it down. You don't want me to take it down for you. I tear that junk down. Destroy your altar. All that junk will be ripped down. That's how you know the people sitting in our land now are not the people they're supposed to be. Nowhere in the world, they'll let them put no mosque up on there, no Christian church, no Greek Orthodox church. Some done Greek throw up. I don't even eat Greek yogurt, Greek salad. All these folks that held us account, you can't be mad at just the white people. You got to look at the other white people they stem from, the Romans, the Greeks, the Italians, all of them put us in slaves. Nigga walk around, no Mama Maria wrote all on your clothes. Struggling on a set here and got that done. Mona Lisa in your house. You're a retard. All these folk done had us captive. All these folk done butchered us. All these people done saying done killed and mocked us. Then you put all of them together, I can't tell one from the done other. Don't sit around like they just got a problem with whites in America. I got a problem with the Italians. I kiss a nigga on the cheek, don't move me with all that old gumbo grease in your hair. Just kind of old fat spaghetti niggas. 
fat nigga finna come up and beat me up with no little bitty pistol. That junk TV. They know where to do all that stuff at. Scale white folk with that stuff. Show good fella. They got Samuel Jackson to write one for the movie. One black man get killed. They know to do that wrong in each other. Won't play that junk. It was a time folks stayed away from. They were scared to come and try us. So everybody don't punk you out. Come on. For thou art and kudash people unto Yahuwah thy Allahim. Yahuwah thy Allahim have chosen thee to be a special people unto him above all people that are upon the face of the Aritz. What are they going to do with that? Man, I chose you over all the people. You think you better than everybody else? Not at all. I know I am. They ain't got a people on their planet better than us. Now, if you don't believe that, you don't believe the book. Right. You walk out there and tell them people, tell them, now all us the same. Now you're a liar. Right. I know you ain't going to be because you're a liar. Right. He don't think no more of me than he thinks you. That's a lie. Yeah. That man say he chose you to be a special above all the people on the arrest. Yeah. Come on, son. Yahuwah did not set his love upon you. Because we were the most? Nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. He loved the underdog. When he came, God said, you were the fewest of all the people. That was our testimony in the 26th chapter of the book of Ul, Al, Al, of, in Ul, I mean, all our hey, Dabarim. We testified in the 26th chapter how we went down. We was a few. Man, brought us out a multitude. Brought us out, man, we were a great multitude when that man brought us out. We don't multiply it on them over him. I told the guy to the dentist, still ought to be watching. He told me, told me, yeah, man, we get ready to go Exodus. I said, what? Yeah, man, we finna Exodus. I said, don't, don't, that's Greek. Don't. <laughs> I said, I ain't even, I said, yeah, no, I said, I don't know what you're saying. I said, I don't even mean what you think it mean. I said, that's the um, torture. He said, he, he said, he gonna tell that member to watch in, teach on Facebook. I tell you, he fought a lot of for I said, I'll not be teaching. It's a dangerous job these people take on, especially if you ain't skilled in what you're doing. Yeah. Everybody just jump out here and teeth. I don't tell you, Facebook dangerous. Yeah. I'm serious. To say Facebook dangerous. I, I ain't even start out like these folks. I don't know how they, everybody now get on Facebook. Folk don't believe in that. Nobody ain't following nobody. Everybody just doing their own thing. And just folks on Facebook, I'm be honest with you. Y'all not that bright. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't all y'all. I'm be honest with y'all. Yeah. If I know something, just like I say, it's a bunch of people that's real kind of retarded with brown on. Guess what I'm going to start wearing? Bunch of misled, misfit guy that folks on Facebook. I think I'm gonna just go on and leave Facebook. I don't wanna be counting the number with them. That's just better. I just, I just ain't getting. They, I mean, Facebook got to be government plant. How do you people start and need church and religion off of Facebook? So you can just go on Facebook and just start following people? <laughs> Having service on Facebook? What is this madman? I'm just throw. I don't know nothing. About, I don't even know how to log on it. I don't have an account. Uh, we had one for the synagogue. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. I ain't even looking for it. Because you'll get too many people out here and they can say the intent is good. But you got to sit down and just testify. If this man had sent you a call, you, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, that's damn. You're playing with people's souls. These people go to hell at your hand. Where you think you're going? You think that man got some kind of medal for good intent leaders? These folks take a lot on themselves. Yeah, that's a lot of responsibility. I know, you know what everybody's saying? Man, you know what? I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just start to every one of my seat make a mess. Every one of them make a mess. I ain't seen one of them come out there on self-led, self-appointed, self-sent, then wind up doing no good. Not one of them. It never happens. Because he ain't sent you. He done told you, I ain't sent these people, they ran. I hadn't spoken to them, yet they said I didn't tell you the vision. He said, had they stood in my council and called the people to hear my word, then they should have turned you. They should have turned you. You can't teach people no lies saying they babies, and then when they get grown, I'm a, I can't start that. Go ahead and teach a child Santa Claus all the way to 18 and tell them 18 we got to stop Santa Claus. 18, you finna tell me now? Why you didn't tell? Well, see, I had to wait till you got, that don't make sense. So you've been lying this whole time to me? See, this is what they pulled the church. You got to do this because you got to get people in. Just like that old saying, you got to skin a fish. You got to catch it before you can clean it. Right, right. 
which is common sense. I want to see. What you doing? Clean the fish while I catch it. Now you finna get in one of them hug me jackets. <laughs> Believe what belongs. He said, you run a thing to Caesar to Caesar, get a thing to Allahim, belong to Allahim. You can't start off on no lies. You can't start off on no lies. Because once them lies start getting uncovered, just Yahoo 2814. I'm going to help these people out out here. There's a lot of mess out here. I tell them, man, I ain't got time for no fools like that, man. I ain't want to know Facebook and just start teaching nobody. I ain't just jump out nowhere on YouTube, man. I'm a teacher. I prove myself out to be a teacher. Y'all hear me? I, I'm consistent. Amen. I don't know. Everybody's just got, I mean, it's a lot of folks. I know some folks, you know, they, my purpose is really, I hear what your purpose is. If you ain't been sent, it man ain't caught. That's just dangerous. Man, that's a lot of responsibility. People need shepherding. And the reason why them people log on to these little sites and be start to follow these people, because they bear no responsibility to nothing. You don't have no responsibility because you just doing something, and they have no responsibility because they're not joining nothing. They do what they want, they listen when they want to, and they go along with what they want to go along with, and they do what they want to do, and that's dangerous. You got to have structure. You got to have, otherwise you got anarchy. That's why other brothers just jump up and start taking stuff over. Because everybody, look, ain't nobody got no business doing nothing. Right. Right. Everybody just jump up and do something. You do just like the book in, um, in the book of Shafatim, when it's set in the 17th chapter. In those day, every man do what's right in his own eye. You know why they do it? Ain't no leadership. When you got leadership, everybody can't do what they want to do. We're going to come back and we're going to look at this book and see how you qualify. We get this book and see how you qualify. They're going to sit everybody down. Get all of me. I take all of them. Let's get us a look at the qualification. <laughs> I'm just sit down right here. Exactly. That's what you need to. You know where you need to be at. Then you just jump out here, just teaching these people, just grabbing these people. These folks need some structure. I get on these people watching me, tell them they need a leadership. I know some of them they think they sit there, sit and just plug in. There. My man told me I ain't son a dime. That ain't your man. That's a joke. That's how you get over. You and me when it's convenient. I hear something they don't like. Then you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, he started to change a lot. I'm noticing. He's starting to get away from that truth. I know. I know. How they all do. They all want to use me. Everybody get away. Everybody free. Everything a free ride. See, you get connected to the body, you got responsibility. People don't want responsibility. Y'all hear me? Everybody, everybody want to, why, why I got to be about money? Go back and look at the law. Huh? Go back and look at the law and see what any money ever you. Y'all see if any money were you. Let's go back and see. See we there. See that uh, Ula uh, Shamut. I want to see if any money will you, because everybody doing their own thing now. Other brothers, since we talking, and since we over here, right? Let's just look and see if the money been you. Let's get away from crop. Let's look at money. Other brothers, see that um, Dabari Hayam. Beth. Other brothers say that Nakumya. See that 10 and about 14. Hold that for me. We'll see that. Let's get away. Let's move away from time. That's what they call. Let's look at some. Let's look at some currency. Matter of fact, let's look at that one first. Look at um Dabari Hayamam, Beth. 24th chapter, 24 and 1. Ain't the word right? Amen. That's all I want. Let's look at let's look at the book, man. I don't know why all these, these folks sit back. They be trying to put on. He just trying to take people money. That's what they say. Well, no, well, ain't no money in the Bible. I know you read what you want to read. Take what you want to take. Listen to the book. Joash was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Jerusalem. Listen. His mother's name also was Zebiah of Beersheba, and Joash did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. All the days of Jehoda, Jehoiada, the priest. Listen. And Jehoiada took for him two wives, and he begot sons and daughters. Y'all see they took for him two wives. That's for me, ain't it? That's your law. Huh? Yeah. Yahuwah hell. Huh? Yahshua yeah. was divided from Yahudim. Two wives. You were taught this in your law. You can't condemn him. Your Lord told you that if a man have two wives, huh? If the one of the first one had the elder son and she was other hated, you had to cause him to inherit first. And he was your elder brother. 
That's why he told you it's written in your law. You hated me without a cause. He was trying to tell you I'm the first inherit. I got inherited before anybody else. He covered himself every time. He had two wives. Huh? Wow. Listen. And it came to pass after this that Joash was reminded. What does that reminded. mean? Reminded. What does that mean if you've been reminded? You must have forgot about it. Somebody had to come back to your mind. He was reminded. What was he reminded? To repair the house of Yahuwah. He was reminded to repair the house of Yahuwah. What happened, son? And he gathered together the priest and Louis and said to them, go out unto the cities of Yehuda. Go out through the cities of Yehuda. What do they want me to do? And gather all, Yashorol, money to repair the house. You said gather the tithes. And gather of all, Yashorol, money. To, to do what? To repair the house. To repair all the house. What else? Tell me about it, son. How you want me to do this? From year to year. You said one time? From year to year. I don't do that. I don't ask y'all year to year y'all supposed to bring money for the house. Did I? I wonder where I get that from. When they were supposed to gather, it was a one-time gathering. When they supposed to do this? Year to year, they supposed to gather money so they can repair the house. What happened? And see that ye hasten the matter. And see, matter of fact, hurry up and get it. What happened, son? How be it? How be it, though? Louis hastened Louis it not. Louis was dragging his feet. What happened, son? And the king called for Jehoiada, the chief. And said unto him, What did he say? Why hast thou not required of Louis to bring in out of Yehuda and out of Jerusalem the collection? You hear that? Why you hadn't told these folk to hurry up and bring the money? He want to know why you had required them to hurry up and bring the money. Come on, son, where we get this from? According to the commandment of Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah. So you just can't even put that on him. Moshe already had commanded you. Sit at the 30th chapter of the book of Ul Al Shamut. I ain't got no problem with none of the book. I ain't got no problem with none of it. I know I tell y'all to do this book, though, ain't it? Every year I tell y'all to do it. I wonder why I get that's for me. I want that to me. He said Moshe commanded it. This the first year I ever said do it, huh? My, I wanted that book. And then the king wanted to know, the monarch wanted to know, why y'all ain't hurrying up and doing it? He wanted to ask, why aren't you hurrying up and getting it from him? Why y'all dragging? Say that 30 and about 9. Let me say what I want. Listen. You shall offer no strange incense thereon, no burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall you pour drink offering thereon, and... Aharun shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most kudash unto Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, When thou takest the sum of the children of Yasharal. When are you taking the who? Sum of the children of Yasharal. So when I start to take the account of the children of Yasharal, now I'm starting to count. Tell me what I'm supposed to do when I start counting. After their number. After your number. Then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul. Listen in now. After I take the count of the children of Yahshua, every man got to give a ransom for his soul. Listen now. Unto Yahuwah, when thou numberest them, that there be no plague among them when thou numberest them. So when I number, it won't be no plague among them. That's why you finna give a ransom for your soul. Come on, let's see what I'm going to give. This they shall give. This you're going to give. Every one that passeth among them. Tell me what, every one that passeth among them, what are they supposed to give, son? That are numbered, half a shekel. How much are they supposed to give? Half a shekel. How much are they supposed to give again now? Half a shekel. I am so confused right now. How much do I need to give them again? Half a shekel. A half a shekel, how much is that? After the shekel of the sanctuary. He said after the shekel of the who? Sanctuary. So they were already giving money for the sanctuary. That's how I knew how much they supposed to give the same amount you're supposed to give for the sanctuary. All oh, them niggas been tired of me. Leah got, you know they say, oh, he's talking about for the soul. Yeah, but he said, do it just like you do for the sanctuary. That's where I got the count from. Say so the same amount they want to know. How much give? Same amount they're supposed to give for the sanctuary. 
when the king just came to confront him, he said, so why y'all ain't hurrying up? Just like what Moshe said. Yeah. These folks don't know what they're doing. Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. Mm. They don't know what they're doing. But it's beautiful, though. This is a beautiful way. All folks got to do is repent and obey. Amen. I know y'all niggas are still, y'all ain't going to do what you Paul do, but don't worry about it. He'll get you. He'll get you in due time. Say that, um, Shafatin, Shafatin chapter 12. Da, 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 da. Let's say it right quick. Y'all all right tonight? If y'all need to go to sleep, go ahead now. Don't worry about me. Shafatin, say that chapter 12. Say about verse 6. Since we down. Other brother got me the book of Nakum, y'all chapter 10. Ten and by seven. Hold that for me. Some kind of way we'll work it all out. That they, they hit them in the heart. That hurt them hard, didn't it? That hurt them. They would think I was going to talk about that ransom for their soul, didn't it? <laughs> Moshe messed up, though, didn't it? Moshe said, just like you're supposed to give for the sanctuary. Yeah. That half a shuckle. Yeah. Same when you're supposed to be giving for the sanctuary. Yeah. They, I don't know why y'all be thinking y'all be getting over. I want one of the few people you find come in and put y'all in just like you're supposed to be. Those folks will charge themselves yearly that this should be done. In the book of Kaga, he was mad with these folks because they kept saying the time was not now. He said, but you live in your seal house while my house lay desolate because they were looking at they weren't bringing it as according as the Lord had been told to them. He said, but you live in your seal houses while my house lay desolate. Mm. No good way and then don't rent for free. Ain't no free internet. We had to pay for extra bandwidth space so these people can watch and click on. These people watch it for hours. They charging me for the time I'm on. Ain't nothing free. Lights and cameras. Heat got to be cut on. They just sitting back telling me, they may pay for it. for it to be among us. We know what we're supposed to do. And people tell me, man, that nigga finna cut everything off. Tell me I cut out what you ain't paid for. Makes sense. Makes sense. Walking in Kroger at night, I'm joking, cutting out lights on one side. Why they cut the light? They're like, nigga, because you ain't buying enough grocery to have on lights to out this whole aisle. <laughs> nigga, walk, they got a flat, come in like you walking down the aisle. They got a nigga flat light on the while he looking. Man, maybe call them lights on that joker. <laughs> that bitch joker gonna get a bucket, got two things in it. Been a light up no, been a light up no nine aisle for that big joker. Hey, Joker, you got a light on your phone? That's right. <laughs> they won't even ring you up at night. Hey, nigga, you know how to go. Go use it. <laughs> man, that right, man, they're about to run that stuff for them folks looking at the cost. Go ahead and complain all you want. Them people looking at you ain't spent enough for me to keep all these lights on. You don't spend enough money to keep air. Why they ain't got no aisles open? Cause it's just you and here, nigga, that bug, and you ain't got enough here to make me open every aisle. You just scan that yourself. Want somebody to ring it up? Come back in the morning. When the rest of your done nigga butt is in here. See the truth, ain't it? But really, I ain't nothing free. People think you trying to beat them out of something. They think he was trying to beat them too, huh? He look at that man, you trying to operate something. You got people in it. It got wear and tear going to get on it. Then you're going to have to pay your fare. Mm. Amen. Amen. Gonna jump on the bus complaining about a bus right. Nigga, you got a seat and a one. You better shut your mouth. Man, bus got to pull up here and your fat booty dragging behind on him. Bus huffing and puffing trying to get your nasty behind up the hill. Train rocking in the curve, scraping, getting the rocks, kicking off sparks. Doing right, they want you to pay another fare. Sitting on pooling and farted all in the seat. Folk need some money. Mm. Well, real running done there, take y'all most of your done heart. Need some money. Listen. Chapter 10, 12 and 6. Listen. I know I called seven. He must have seen. Did you see something or you thought I called six? I said six. I thought I said seven. I said seven. How many of y'all said I said six? How many of y'all heard me say seven? What I just say just now? So how many of y'all heard me say seven? All right, I thought everybody with me. Andre, get your act together. Come on. 
and Jephthah judged Yasharal six years. Yeah. Then died Jephthah the, the Gileadite and was buried in one of the cities of Gilead. Number 10. Make that, um, not Shaphatim, he's right. Not Shaphatim. I want uh, Malachim, Beth. Chapter 12. Y'all know I like Jephthah. They came back and they wanted their land. What he told them? He let them know why Yashra was in captivity. You had time enough to get it. He said, what your God give you, would you give it away? So I, all he ain't gave it us and we ain't giving them nothing. I like the way he talked. He let them know. He let them know. He called back over the time we was in captivity. He said, y'all had all that time to recover the land if it was yours. He said, if your God gave it to you, would you give it away? Because I would give it us and I ain't giving it away. I said, that's how I talk. I ain't giving you nothing. Ain't that right? Listen. In verse 7? Yes, listen. Then Malak Jehoash called for Jehoiada, the priest, and the other priests, and said unto them, Why repair ye not the breaches of the house? He want to know why you ain't repairing the breaches of the house. Come now, on, son. Now, therefore, receive no more money of your acquaintance, but deliver it for the breaches of the house. You hear this? He told them, don't take no more money. But he wanted them to take that money and deliver it for the fixing the breaches in the house. Listen. And the priest consented to receive no more money of the people. Yeah. Neither to repair the breaches of the house. Yeah. But Jehoiada, the priest, took a chest and bored a hole in the lid of it. And Look said, at him. Took a chest and bored a hole in the, in the top of it. What he did? Bored a hole well? In the lid of it. In the lid of it. And set it beside the altar. And what happened? On the right side as one cometh into the house of Yahuwah. And what happened? And the priest that kept the door. Did put, what? Put therein all the money that was brought into the house You know what's the man? We kind of Christian church. Y'all remember years ago? They had that little wooden box. Mm -hmm. And it didn't have enough stop. You put the envelope in there. And they all come along and condemn the Old Testament. They would have that thing sitting there with just where you slide the envelope in that little wooden box. And you wonder where they get it from. If the priest wasn't supposed to receive no money, why he told them to stop taking money? Why he told them to stop taking money? Because they were receiving money. And he wanted them to take the money and use it that the breaches of the house be fixed. Come on to the Nakum, y'all. Well, I've been all over the place tonight. Nakum, y'all, chapter 10. Got to be a reason you want me to hit it. Want me sitting around thinking everything ain't done free. No gun done well ain't nothing free. I stand up all day, done leg be swollen, salt like it chewing in my done leg. Mm. I still don't cut no time. I don't cut it short. I get up and do my job. People don't know how tired and sleep exhausted I be when I get up here. I come here and do my job. I don't let that stop me. I jump up and I do my job. I'm going to put the work in until the man tell me that's enough. Sit down, stupid. I don't mind if he call me stupid. I'll never be smart as him. I just don't want nobody to dumb to me call me stupid. He's smart than me. He got the right to tell me I'm stupid. I don't know no more than what he let me know. I pray that he said that's enough, stupid. Thank you, sir. Nakum Yah chapter 10, verse 7. Listen. Meshulam, Abijah, Mejim, Mejimin, Maaziah, Bilgai, Shemaiah, these were the priests. And Louis, both Yeshua, the son of Azaniah, Benui, of the sons of Hinadad, Cadmiel, and their brethren, Shibaniah, Hodijah, Kelita, Peliah, Hanan, Mika, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zakur, Sherebiah, Huh? Yeah, a long way to go. Drop me on down. What I want, 19? 28. 28? Let's give me 27. Listen. My Luke. They say you had a long time. They said. Yeah. Hey, Leon Little, he said, he got a long way to go. <laughs> Come on. My Luke, Harim, Ba'ana, and the rest of the people, the priest, Louis, the porters, the singers, the Nethanims, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the land unto the law of Allahim. Y'all hear that? People don't realize that's why y'all hadn't separated y'all self. The Lord did it. 
See, he told you how they did it. They separate the people, separate themselves from the people. He said, unto the law. See, when you look at unto the law, when you actually sat down and start combining, start abiding by and complying with, a lot of stuff you'll stop. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff you're going to have to pull away from. Yeah. I don't know why y'all don't say he told you how they did it. He said how they separate themselves. They separate, and the rest of the people that separated themselves from where? From the people of the lands. From the people of the who? Of the lands. Lands. Because you got to figure you had 120 providence. From the people of the land. That was not the only region. We was in all different regions. Yeah. We were dispersed out in Ethiopia. We dispersed out in India. We dispersed out in all these regions. And these people all separate themselves from the people of the lands. How do they do it, Brandon? Unto the law of Allah. That makes sense. What the law told us to do. Make no league with them. Make no covenant with these people. Come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing. The law already pulled us away from them. The law in itself, if you actually obeyed it, you wouldn't get yourself tired of a lot of this stuff because it won't make sense. The law don't even give you the room to do it. Come on, son. Their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. That's the only one that can do it. You got to have knowledge. That's why you get yourself emboldened and tied up again with them because you ain't got no knowledge. That's a perfect reason he's going to give you a shepherd. According to his heart, going to feed you with what was it? And understanding. Listen. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse. Y'all hear this? They clave to their brethren. Ain't that right? They Louis. They clave to them. And they join themselves to a curse. Tell me what it was, son. And into an oath. And into an oath. To walk in Allahim's law, which was given by Moshe, the servant of Allahim. People, look at that. That ain't go again going back to Moshe. How you gonna get rid of the law? They looked at it didn't make no sense. They joined themselves and they made an oath. That they were going to sit here and they would look at, let's look at the law. Listen. And to observe and do all the commandments of Yahuwah. Observe Yahua. and do all the commandments. Listen. Our Allahim and his judgments and his statutes. Come on. And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, mm -hmm. nor take their daughters for our sons. Look at that. They're looking at all their errors. How are we going to say we're going to go back and we're going to observe all the laws and, we're gonna, and we ain't going to cover this one though? Come on. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Shabbat day to sell. What happens, son? That we would not buy it of them on Shabbat. Y'all hear this? We're not buying it on the Shabbat. Listen. Or on the Kudash day. Or on the Kudash days. Come on. And that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Y'all hear that? They said we got to go back all the way to the law. If you owe me something out the seventh year, don't worry about paying it back. He said, we got to make sure we're going back to everything Moshe said now. Listen. Also, also we, made, we made ordinances uh, for uh, us. Also, we made ordinances for who? For us. For us. What was it? To charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel. I don't know what that means. How are we going to go back to Moshe and we're going to forget that? We charged ourselves. that we're going to do this every year. What, they go, what is it for, Brandon? Talk for, to him. For the service of the house of our Allahim. What else? For the shoe bread and for the continual meat offering and for the continual burnt offering of the Shabbats. What else? Of the Kadash moons, for the set feast, and for the Kadash things. I'm, yeah, we don't do none of that. You'll see, I don't know how many bats are going around to him. I'm taking it from you. They made an oath. They made a covenant. They were going to do it. They bound themselves. So also we made this a law that we were going to charge. It didn't make sense for them not to. They're looking at it. It made no sense to go back and look at motion, look at these folks. They had money they gave for the sanctuary. It would make no sense that we would sit here and we would do nothing. That's these retards and their religion. That's crazy. And I tell y'all, we take up money for the feast. He said we should do it. And for the Shabbat, y'all want to eat on the Shabbat, you paying. Yep. Right? That's what they did. They said, we're going to charge ourselves. Y'all do what y'all supposed to do, everything taken care of. Yep. He ain't finna rain down nothing on no Shabbat for you. That's, right. That's why he sat and gave her the law. If we did like the audience had told her, you won't lack nothing. Amen. That's why I ain't here begging these people for now. I ain't charging these people to watch us. I don't even want your money at this point. Y'all hear me? That's why I charge her. The most I touch the hearts, I got something here to do exactly what I tell them to do. And they already see, this book. That's book. They charge themselves. Yeah, he said, also, we charge. He just come up with that on his own. 
Because it don't make sense when we start going back looking at motion, we just going to negate this. This makes no sense. We'll charge ourselves yearly. All this got to be done. We come in to feast. How are we going to eat? Everybody's just going to walk in here with a sandwich? The man already condemned us for that. Shaul got her for that. One is hungry and another one full. This ain't to take no Yahuwah supper. He done told her, these are my feasts and you shall keep them. How am I keep when they ain't got no money? When y'all appear for these feasts, that none shall appear before me empty. That's the law. Hypocrite in front of them, old nigga white junk. Come, they told me, but rump a bump bum. Knock them drunk right at that little white boy hand. I ain't kick that deal beside him. <laughs> I have no gear to bring, but rump a bump bum, rump a bump bum. <laughs> what a new boy baby when he all that noise for? They want to go to sleep and want some teddy. <laughs> boy, when he all that done banging. Two things a newborn baby wants, sleep and titty. That done noise ordinance in effect. Cut that junk off. I thought a little white boy was doing something. I'm going gonna to play my drum. I'm going to play that drum, boy. A white baby over there talking like pebbles off of here. Gotcha, cool. Gotcha, cool. Remember Pebble? Heifer never could talk. I hate they made her grown. Never did change her diet. That's why she kept crawling that fly. I know she messed on herself. Can't let no baby crawl all them seasons. She ain't never changed her clothes. No good done well, she messed. Y'all all right? Y'all don't like I swing at your little cartoon little stuff. <laughs> that hurt their feeling, don't it? Tell these members and the other one that watch it. We don't watch none of them superheroes. We don't watch that junk. That stuff Greek. We don't believe in that stuff. Gods, Superman, Spider-Man, all them jokers. They never an idol god, them Greek gods. They named after they god hero. Don't pay that junk. We don't watch that junk. Transform, they superheroes. Only one they got ain't superheroes is Ninja Turtle, and they rats. <laughs> oh, I know done, rat there and clean. Jeremiah says, Jeremiah, do we watch, do we watch, um, we don't watch no turtle. They live in the sewer, ain't it? We don't play watch nothing in the sewer. Ain't got no sin to got the sewer. How you ordering pieces in the sewer? The nasty. Got that rat round, that rat round. I open that room, come in here and teach you some karate. Don't trust them. Why is it? I mean, why don't you put some clothes on, man? I'm like Eddie Murphy on Golden Child. You know, this ain't natural for you down here in this basement with no clothes on. <laughs> Maybe told Carla, put some clothes, you're going to catch the flu down here. Remember she was better behind that curtain back there, but they had no clothes on that. <laughs> I don't trust them. I ain't never trust them. I don't care what kind of mask you got on. I see that shell. You don't think I know you're a turtle. How you disguise? You have a shell on your back. A ninja. A ninja turtle. Some of them cartoons, they couldn't sell when I was coming out. We hadn't got too old. Did you get hooked on? Uh-uh. I already seen one of them got gone. Them ninja turtles got you, Jesse. I know for Mexican, because that's close. I mean, a lot of related. Sewer, coming over the country, sewer. No correlation. What about CJ? You used to eat turtle. Flip them over there, you know. Clean this out. No, I eat them like oysters. I got suck them out the little thing. You know, eat no turtle. Not that you know of. You ate in New York. Hold on, you ate food in New York. Hold on, you ate food in New York. Then you lived, you lived in Florida, right? You were born in Florida. And when you know when they told you about it, they would sit around talking about, man, turtle, eat turtle. You know what they would tell him about it? They would give him some. Now I'm over there, easy to say. Them country folks will get you tell me what you don't eat. Them jokes will be like, that's it right now. You done ate it. That turtle good. Yeah, I had a couple of turtles. Then I had my stomach got queasy. I started thinking about that shell. I thought I might have swallowed the shell. I said, I don't feel good. I mean, that thing scared me. I, you, I ate some frog legs before. 
My cousin, you know, culture folk did a lot of keep from eating. They said, go ahead. I had a bed for something. He told me, he said, he said, go ahead. He said, you swallow a bone, you turn into a frog. I about I said, <laughs> bone was the same one. Like, I was scared to death. But I was a nigga. I was hungry. So I, just, <laughs> I take it. Any bit of I was scared. Bone, that bed. How you going to swallow a bone? But he scared me so bad. He said, if I swallow a bone, I'm turn into a turtle. I'm going to turn into a frog. I was scared to death. <laughs> I ain't even that one. I clean that joke. He said, I'm in the frog, you ain't. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Justin. Did you eat frog legs? I know he ain't one of them. Yeah. So you took a lot of frog legs. Mm, right. So if it weren't for you, it'd be a lot more good looking prince that walk around him. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them picked up some prince. She done kicked up a frog and kissed it. Joke ain't got no leg number belly in head. <laughs> She's in that 80 future way. So I want to wear him and pick this thing. Listen, it's in the water like that. The head still up. She done kissed that joke. Good look at that joke. That number bailing, bailing head and went down and drowned. That done, CJ. Two bellies. Two. That's all right, though, yeah. Y'all all the chain. They all the chain right here. I'll tell you what, though, man. This book right. Y'all hear me? You go back and you look at that book. When I set up an ordinance for y'all to do stuff, it book. That's right. Y'all ain't coming and bagging up that book. Ain't that right? We ain't doing it going no whole excursion. We do it because we do what we're supposed to do. We take care of the house of Yahuwah. Amen. Ain't that right? We have our feet. That's why we have feet. We ain't sitting around now starving, doing no sitting out eating out no doing garbage can. We do what the man told us to do. He always provide. Amen. Ain't that right? We have feet back to back. We learned over the long week, what, two, three weeks later, we had another one. Yep. We weren't scraping out no doing bombing no bear to eat. You know I tell you all the time, you do what you're supposed to, just like he said. We told him to bring all the tithes into the storehouse. He said, be meat in my house. If you brought it in, he ain't said going to get in there by itself. If you brought it like you're supposed to, he said, be meat in my house. Prove me and see. Try me and see, he said, I won't have enough. I'm going to be sitting around no nigga stuff. I ain't got time for that stuff. Y'all hear me? If your heart right, you ain't got no problem doing what you're supposed to anyway. They came out our father Dawood when they came down to the house of Yahuwah. He said he purposed his own self above what he was charged to do. He said, I purpose my own self to put aside more stuff for what I want to have for the house. And that's that why he loved it. He said, a man out of my own heart. I already purposed his heart to do more and above that. They don't want to talk about that. Amen. Come on, son. Let's see what he told. Let's pick me up in the book of um, Dabari Hayama, chapter 29. Aleph, 29 and 1. I'm going to see what he said. That book right. That's why he loved him, man. He said, man, a man out of my own heart. Man, purpose himself to go over above. Y'all won't even do what you're required to do. That's the sad part. Doing thieves and robbers, liars and crooks, scammers and flim flammers. Get a man what belong to him. You ain't gonna lose nothing. That's right. What keep trying to get out of something? What you trying to get out? Get in. Amen. Listen, 29 and 1. Listen. Furthermore, Dawu the Malak said unto all the congregation, Shaluma, my son, whom alone all Ahim have chosen. You hear that? He said he chose him by himself. You ain't have nothing to do with it. He said that who he chose, chose him by himself. Come on. Is yet. Young and tender, and but the work what, is great. And he said, well, you got a lot of work. What happened, son? For the palace is not for man. But for who? Yahuwah, Allahim. That's what we look at when you come out of your body. That's what I'm trying to do, get y'all to construct the temple. And this temple you build it ain't for you. It's for Allahim, something he'll dwell in, something he's satisfied with. That's why your behavior, your conduct, your speech got to be right. Because you try to make a habitation where he can dwell in it. What they had was a premise that he looked at. That's a great work. You're trying to build something he's going to dwell in. You're trying to set a place that he sat down and he's pleased with and he'll come and fill the temple. That's what you're trying to do with your mortal body. Listen. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my Allahim, the gold for the things to be made of gold. And? The silver for the things of silver. So he did what was required. He said, I did that with all my might. I done prepared the thing that's going to be silver for silver, the thing for gold that's going to be gold. Come on, Dawood. And the brass for the things of brass. And the thing brass, I made sure I had enough for what's brass. What happened? The iron for things of iron. Yeah. And wood for things of wood. 
uh-huh. onyx stones and stones to be set, glistering stones and of divers colors and all manner of precious stones and marble stones in abundance. That's a lot, ain't it? He said that's what he required. What happened, son? Moreover. More what? Moreover. What happened, son? Because I have set my affection to the house of my Allahim. That's the difference right there. The man said, because I set my affection toward it. You were told it by, Sha by Shaul. Set your affection on things above and not on things on. He said, because I set my affection on the things of Allahim. What you do, Daoud? I have of mine own proper good of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my Allahim over and above all that I have prepared for the Kudash house. That make a big difference. That man said, I gave over and above. We do good. We make. We want accolades that we do the minimum. He said, "Cause I set my affection now. I put it in my heart. I love it. and I want to see it done." He didn't get to build it. He said, "I want to put some toward. I want to see it get down." So what I did, I purposed it myself. He said, "I want to go above, of my own self." See, that's why you look at a man like that being a man of his own heart. Cause you know what y'all do? We do the skank measure. Barely sufficient. He done said, I done showed you what's right, old man. And what does Allahim require? To do good and walk, do justly and walk humbly before you Allahim. Ain't that right? He said, you're going to sit around, you're going to get a skank measure. All you try to do is barely meet it. Hey, that's what he said. That's all I'm going to do. He said, I know. I know. Ain't that right? That's our problem. We got to do better. Y'all hear me? In everything we do, we got to do better in our servitude, in our behavior, in our giving. Everything we got for this thing locking down. Amen. All these people ain't going to make it in. They not going to make it in. Everything closing down. I got some things we're getting ready to do. The most high be our help we get to do it. It's going to separate more of us. It's going to separate more of us. It's going to separate more of us. That's going to be a good thing, though. Amen. Y'all hear me? It's getting that critical for us. It's going to put us down where everybody's going to sit down and look at what you got. What you have, what you love, and you got to make some choices. Everybody. It's going to be tight, but it's going to be right. It makes sense according to our word. Amen. Y'all right. hear me? Amen. It makes perfect good sense according to the word. You're going to lose some things with these people now. So I want everybody to know something now. You're going to lose something. At the end, we're going to look at what the gain is. The gain is complete separation from these people. Amen. Complete separation from these people and what they're doing. Y'all hear me? Amen. It's not for us. He never intended this way to be for us. Y'all hear me? He never intended for us. I've been told y'all that. He never intended us to count on no government to take care of us. He never intended it for us. Not for the people he loved. He set his affection upon us. He never intended this to be the way it is. And you know what? And because we have, we count on these people, we have not trusted him. That's all of us. We have not trusted him. Oh, it's going to be tight. And I ain't going to be mad at none of you. But there's no way we all going to be able to stay together. Because everybody got to make a decision. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. But I'm going to do it. Amen. I'm going to be first on deck. Amen. Y'all hear me? I just said first in flight. Y'all going to think I'm from North Carolina. First in flight. That's just being honest, man. He ain't intended for us to count on these people. He ain't intended for us to be up on this system. Amen. We got a different system than these people got. I'll finish out. Give me Hadasha. Hadasha chapter 3. 3 and about 5. Let me see that right quick. Hadasha. Um, what time is it? Good getting late. For those on the phone, I mean my out-of-town members, I want y'all to um, make sure y'all um, send them out a code. I don't want to be all night. I got to talk to y'all tomorrow. Look at that phone. Put them out-of-town members. Y'all need to be on the phone. I need to just shoot somebody, y'all. Make sure y'all get that to them. They're going to send y'all out a code. I don't need y'all dragging, taking all night even. In fact, by the time y'all see, when I get them up to pray, y'all need to already be on the phone, have them on the phone. So y'all already be unlogged in. So I don't want to be all night. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Amen. All right. Let's see. This is Hadasha. Yeah, I'm, I meet with him out there. Thank you, sir. 
Hadasha chapter 3 and about verse 5. Listen. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not. Oh, my God. Maybe here, 3 and 1. Let's see this. I'm going to try to let y'all go. I know I caught a lot of stuff. I try to let y'all go. Just see what this say. This is, this is Hadasha 1 and 1. In your book, you're going to have Esther. Esther's last name is Roll. That's that ugly heifer James used to kiss. He should have got hell. I don't bother left that shot. I know why he really left. I wanna, I'd be like, man, nigga, I wanna kiss him. If I'd have kissed, they gave me some gorilla lip to put on top of the I wanna kiss him. I don't care if she a JJ mama. I wanna kiss that joke. She ugly to death. I always thought Elsa Roll was ugly. I mean y'all always thought she was ugly. I hated that hell for hell do so bad. And he used to tell her how fine she was. Baby, you some kind. I'd be like, if this nigga, I'm like, he just lying. <laughs> he can't be saved. <laughs> You can't be saved like that. Y'all think, but you know what, though? He can't get in the kingdom like that. Ain't right, Alvin? He can't get in the kingdom like that. I'm talking about Esther Roll Pretty. You can't get in the kingdom like that. That's one ugly. Only part I felt sorry her when she got shot on Rollwood. That's the only part. But other than that, that's an ugly woman. Ain't that right? Just a straight creature. That's it. How many of y'all felt like that? Did y'all used to look at them rolls on her neck? God, I used to hold she, I used to want her to walk with her head down. Because she nipped that thing about them roll. I said, God, man, she ugly. Then that ugly little jacket they had on her, that pocketbook. Then she came to JJ. school. why she went to school? That boy, oh, my goodness. I didn't want her to stay in the house. She didn't need to be on no school bus driving, pinning them. She just didn't need to be nowhere. That black ugly thing needs to just stay in the house and just wrapped herself up and just settled up by that deep freezer. She was ugly. When Jane, y'all remember the time Jane got mad, thought he had slammed that chair, get that dough, and told y'all remember that he thought he had blood pressure? He should have hit her with that chair. <laughs> she was ugly. That's an ugly woman. She ain't great. How long has she been dead? Since 2007, eight? I guarantee you go lift that up. She's still ugly. So I guarantee she the same ugly. All right. Why well, y'all go peek? I can't go. Listen. After these things, did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamadatha the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him? And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman. Now hear what happened? Then all the king's who? Servants. What happened? That were in the king's gate. What did they do, son? Bowed. They all bowed. And, and reverenced Haman. And they gave homage to Haman. What happened, son? For the king had so commanded concerning this, him. He commanded that it should be done. What happened, son? But Mordecai bowed not. But Mordecai said, well, that's the law. Bowed not, nor did him reverence. Mordecai said, well, you got to run the honor to whom honor is. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. See, y'all going to think that man had disobeyed. He hadn't disobeyed. See, always remember, the book is never wrong. Your interpretation is just wrong. Listen. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgressed thou the king's commandment? See that? You didn't transgress. Because the king done gave an order that you're supposed to bow down before Mordecai. I mean, bow down before Haman. What happened? Now it came to pass, when they spake daily unto him. You hear that? They taught him more than one time about it. Every day they told him about it. What happened, son? And he hearkened not unto them. And he wouldn't even listen. You know you're supposed to obey leadership. You're supposed to listen when leadership taught. What happened? That they told Haman. They told Haman. To see whether Mordecai's matters would stand. They went to see if he could still be able to do that and see what Haman said about it. What happened, son? For he had told them that he was a Yahudi. That make a difference. See, that's why we can't be recognized as Negro, colored, black, sub saharan Nubians. Um, none of these nigga terms they gave us. So he made it known to him why he couldn't do it. Because he was of the Yahudim. He let him know he's of the Yahudim. What happened, son? And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not. What happened? Nor did him reverence. Nor did he give reverence to him. What happened? Then was Haman full of wrath. Listen. And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Yes. For they had shewed him the people of Mordecai, where Haman sought to destroy all the Yahudim that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus. Let me ask you a question. Now, if I want to kill you, you, Yahudi, or the Yahudim, 
and I want to kill you because you don't bow down and you don't worship me or give me the homage or reverence. Then I want to kill everybody that's like you. It's got to be because the other people like you do the same thing you do. Because I can say it's just you. He said want to kill him alone. But then when they found this thing bigger than just Nino Brown. What happened, son? Even the people of Mordecai. Even the people of Mordecai. What happened? In the first month, that is the month, Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast pure, that is, the lot, before Haman from day to day. Yeah. And from month to month to the twelfth month, that is, the month Adar. Yes. And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, there is a certain people. That's what I like about this. See, he, he had to go and let the king know. There's a certain people. What about them, son? Scattered abroad. Listen, scattered abroad. 120 providence. Over 120 providence that's scattered. What about these people? And dispersed among the people. And, and they dispersed. So they right there among all the other nations. What about these people? In all the provinces of thy kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. So let me ask y'all a question. How are we going to be able to stay? So I can see where we're going. Yes, sir. Because there's a people. When they went back to report it now, he let them know what the difference was. Because everybody was doing it. If you look, what's wrong with y'all? Stand up. Don't you know you're supposed to stand up and pledge these to the flag? But there's a people. Huh? Scattered among all in all the providences. Their laws are different than anybody else's laws. Y'all hear me? Amen. So we got some work to do. That's right. We got some work to do. All I'm going y'all believe the book? Yes. Could you tell them again about these people if you would when he went to report it to the president of the United States? I'm sorry, I mean the king. There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom. And all the provinces, these in different countries. This is bigger than just America. India is a country. These are not cities. These are countries, people that are of the Yahudim. And what about these people? And their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. Mm. We'll see what is going. All right. Y'all already sent them out of code for those at home.